Hello. Hello, hello. Oh god, that was scary. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> I thought something was wrong on my end. And I was like, can you not hear the music? Hello? Have y'all been sitting in silence for the past however long? <laughs> Nightmare scenario. Nightmare. How dare you do this to me? <laughs> anyway, hello, hello, hello. How are y'all doing? <laughs> It is time for the judgment. This is going to be the PS4 version because that is the version I have. I don't have the remaster. I also kind of don't like the lighting in the remaster because I don't know. <laughs> it makes everybody look like they're dying of the cold. Like Yagami's lips look like they're purple. And several shots and I'm just like, why? Plus, I also think they gave him brown brown hair, which is also weird. I don't know what the hell they were doing with the remaster. <laughs> I also have not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Dude, I haven't touched the PS5 in, like, a bit, and it was like, everything wanted to, like, get updated, and I was just like, please, can you finish updating before <laughs> I start the stream? I beg of thee. <laughs> but I think we're good. I forget how you do New Game Plus. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure there is. There's got to be. <clears throat> I think Gaiden is the only game that straight up does not have a new game plus. And even if uh, Infinite Wealth does, but you have to buy it because it's DLC now. RDG, what are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Using clear data. Thank you. simple <laughs> for people that just want to do detective in uh we'll do normal because i think that's what we normally do i can't see the one on the right no matter what i do that's fun <laughs> I'll just leave it like that so that we can see. I forget, when is the dub? Does it not tell you what dub to use at the start? Does it default? Surely it tells you what dub to pick at the start. No? Okay, hang on, never mind. I have to quit then. <laughs> Fun. The one game I was expecting it to be like, hey, what dub do you want? It doesn't. <laughs> this is a good start to a stream. <laughs> God damn it. Everything is going great. Oh god, how do you do polls again? There we go. Which dub? English? Japanese? Yeah, sure, we'll do it for like three minutes. <laughs> there we go, and we're off. Because, yeah, we have English dub or Japanese dub. I've done this with the 
uh, when I played this on my own, I did this with the Japanese dub. And I have not heard the English one, just like, <laughs> like what happened with Seven. So if we do it with English, uh, it'll be my first time hearing it. Outside of, like, speed runs, because for reasons the English dub is faster than the Japanese dub. <laughs> Because there's a bit that's unskippable where a character is trying to, like, explain game mechanics to you. And the person gets through it faster in English than they do in Japanese. And so that's why you speedrun this game in English. It does look like English is winning, which is going to be fun because it means we get to hear Greg Chun again. <laughs> Too bad I didn't do uh, Somnium Files right before this one, because uh, then we could have had Greg Chun the detective two games in a row. Depending on, you know, which one wins. Oh God, Japanese! <laughs> Who's putting all their points in the Japanese? <laughs> Oh, English is fighting back? English is fighting back? English is winning again? <laughs> but allowing people to vote in polls multiple times is one of the funniest things Twitch has done. <laughs> Like, who thought this was a good idea? I'm glad they did, but who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> At least it's a way for you guys to spend your points. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so close! <laughs> this is so close! English wins by 14 votes! <laughs> y'all, y'all must have been mashing because holy shit! <laughs> I love having only like three people in chat and having like, what is that? Nearly like over 300 votes in the poll. That's good. <laughs> All right. Make sure we are on English. Yeah, at, <laughs> you got 50k points to burn. As I said, it's a good way for y'all to burn your points. <laughs> because Lord knows I don't know how to make you guys spend these points. <laughs> I don't know what to give you. Okay, is this gonna put me in front of the uh, opening cutscene again? Let's see. I sure hope it does. Get it hey, Mike Sill, welcome, welcome. Let me put that more in the corner. That's been bugging me for a while that that's not more in the corner. Okay, yeah, here we go. But yeah, this was the first yes. game. Yes, I understand. Completely. Outside of the first game, outside of the first Yakuza game, to get an English dub, I think. That. I guarantee you. Director of the Genda Law Office, Ryuzo Genda. Hey, oh, you 
you must be talking about Yagami. Absolutely. We appreciate any interest you might have. But it's just, uh... Lawyer at the Genda Law Office, Takayuki Yagami. Wow. You know, must be so nice to be a rock star. Right, Salary chan Genda Law, sorry speaking. Yes, Yagami is currently employed by our firm. Well, you're at the Genda Law Office. Sorry, Shiosaki. Same bullshit all day. Guess everyone wants a lawyer who can win, huh? Yagami Sensei. While you're at the Genda Law Office, Masamichi Shintani. Hey, throw me a bone. I never would have won without a hand from these two. Of course you wouldn't have. 99% of these cases end up in convictions. It makes an acquittal a big deal, even if it was just luck. Talk about a lawyer being a hero. Makes even a former gangster look good. <laughs> Guess so. Wipe that grin off your face. You think you're better than us? I'm no saint. Shh. Could have fooled me. You know, you're not gonna win all of them. Trust me, pal. My record's not... Are you listening? Of course. I get the message. Hmm. Well, Shintani's available right now. Yeah, you bet. He's more experienced. Are you hearing that? No, no. Now I'm getting I, uh, tossed your goddamn leftovers. You like him, <sighs> Shut up, man. Okay, and you're sure? He's as skilled as they come, trust me. But well, that no. just can't be right. He hasn't won any cases. You know how rare that is? <sighs> Haven't you heard 99.9% .9 of criminal court cases end with the defendant behind bars? Pretty ridiculous, huh? right? What? Well, you still want Yagami, though. Man, I am so done. Hey, can it? Yes. Yes. And you're absolutely sure. I understand. I'll tell him. Who was that? Another call for Yagami Sensei. Big whoop. But the client is Shinpei Okubo. Mm. Huh? Not sure I believe that. Okubo's a free man now. Not anymore. He's been arrested for murder. Come on. We already proved he was innocent, right? It's a new case. He's being processed. What they told me is that he stabbed his girlfriend Emmy to death, set the apartment on fire. Okubo would never do that. <sighs> Stabbing Emmy John. I just don't understand it. Okubo. That day, my career as a lawyer died alongside Emi-chan. Both murdered by Shinpei Okubo. Man, I know that this is just Greg Chun's voice, but I just hear Dante now! <laughs>
Come in, Kaito-san. Are you getting close yet? Yep. Right by the Don Quixote. Heading your way now. You just about see our man? Investigator at the Yagami Detective Agency, Masaharu Kaito. There's our boy! I got him. He doesn't have a clue, huh? Ah, you're getting good at this. Almost like a pro. Wow, thanks. I always dreamed of being a professional stalker. I'm not sure I'd call it that. You gotta admit, this is crazy, though. A detective tailing another detective? You only see that shit on TV. Crazy or not, stay focused. Alright, I'll join up with you soon. Okay. <laughs> Step aside, old man. Piece of goddamn <laughs> trash. The asshole, he said no! Oh, hi, Matt Mercer. How you doing? Huh? The fuck are you doing? What? Now, do you want to die, bitch? The hell is his problem? <sighs> What's going on back there, buddy? Uh, looks like I need to teach these punks a little lesson. Need to? Didn't you tell me to keep my head down? Hey, who you call punks, you homeless piece of shit? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Kaito. I'll see you soon, okay? <sighs> so much for being careful. <laughs> Get a load of him! Man, you seeing this shit? <laughs> okay, our boy's a movie star. What? <laughs> that is Kiryu's suit. <laughs> You're a damn joke. Now let's do this thing! That one guy has Kiryu's suit, but with a different shirt. Now you want a homeless Akiyama game? <laughs> So welcome uh, to Yagami. What I want to guard against attacks. Guarding is particularly important for surviving tough fights since the game will end if you run out of health. Yep, yep. Come on. R1 to lock on. Circle is grab. And then we have heat actions, aka uh heat or er, EX actions in this game. <laughs> yeah, stinky uncle simulator. Do that. You're not Yakuza. You're a civvy. You can't do the shirt rip off. Who, who are you? How'd you get rid of the beard? I'm all done. Kaito san, where's our guy going? On his way towards Pink Street. Crowd's thinning out. Get your ass over here. Got it. And make it quick. Any minute now, he's gonna figure out I'm shadowing him. Yep, here we are, Yags. Went toward Pink Street. I should check the map, get my bearings. <laughs> I see, you very specifically want me to go this way. Oh yeah, as I said, well, time to get over there. This is the uh, PS4 version. Which means uh, all the tailing segments are of their full length. I do not have the benefit of the remaster cutting most of them short. Good luck, Toc. It's all you now. Really? So that's gonna Maybe be fun. Time. Just get your ass over here. If we lose him, it's on you. 
Well, that's just... Whoops. My bad. Sorry, Kaito. Sorry, Keith. I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just trying to sprint. What the detective look like again? I should probably take another look at our sketch. Maybe he's the guy right next to us. That's pretty unique. Interesting jacket, too. There's a distinct mole on his face. Face, five o'clock shadow. I didn't read the last bit. Kind of face that someone not used to the city might feel intimidated, but ha ha, sir? <laughs> sir? Why, <laughs> why did that man <laughs> walk into the screen? Tailing search mode. In this mode, you must locate your target based off of their characteristics. You cannot exit first person view. Find the person who matches the traits displayed on the right. If you find anyone suspicious, hover over them and hold R2 to observe them more closely. Pressing an X while examining is displayed will verify if the person is a match. If they are, you found your mark and it's time to start tailing. Is this where the cat thing starts? I forget. I suppose not. Because I purposely waited Found a little him. bit. And I didn't Finally. hear the meow. Thought you were never going to catch up, man. Sorry. it takes for him to style his hair uh probably a while because yeah sure it's messy but it's like a stylized messy oh right i'm gonna have to remember i don't have the trigal panic button <laughs> that is one thing i will give lost judgment it made the tailing segment so much easier about tailing, when you make some kind of commotion and that could attract the target's attention the caution gauge at the top of the screen will fill if the caution gauge reaches its limit, you will fail the mission. If you're about to get noticed, take cover behind a building or put more distance between yourself and the target. The caution gauge will go down again since you have once you have successfully avoided detection. Countdown timer will display at the top of the screen if you lose sight of your target. Locate the target before the countdown reaches zero. Losing sight of your target will also result in failure. Target may start to act more cautiously, as if they have a sudden inkling that they are being watched. If the target sees you when this happens, the caution gauge will start spiking. Failing to get out of sight in time will cost you the mission. Your target will be able to find you while you are taking cover, so press circle to hide behind a cover spot. You won't be able to move while hiding, so find the right time to emerge by pressing circle so your target doesn't completely slip away. Because we're the master of disguise and stealth. So yeah, uh, I hope you like tailing segments because boy howdy does this first game have a bajillion of them. Luckily this should be New Game Plus and so I should have like a bunch of things to like help make this less painless. But we still have to wait for them to finish their rounds. losing them. Hey! Hey, you! It's high time you pay all the rent you owe. I just need a little longer, okay? Just one more week. <sighs> Another week? I am done warning you. Yes, I assure you. It better be. Bye for now, then. Oh, that was close. Good job, Yagami. Inconspicuous. Just Blair witching against the wall. Oh, 
Where are you going, buddy? That man has vanished. It's fine. Maybe don't get too close to me. <laughs> yeah, turn back around, buddy. I love it when the height spot is like a group of people like that because it's just like, how do you do, fellow friends? I'm definitely one of you. I'm not losing him, game. He's looking at a vending machine. Need someone to give you a huge kick up the butt to finish five and get on with the series. Don't mind the person very suspiciously hiding behind the sign. Son. He's heading for the champion district. Oh, great. We're never gonna Doesn't that hurt your that. eyes <laughs> standing there? Probably why he's going there. Thankfully, we can always follow him from above. Yeah? Wanna break out the pigeon? Just try to head him off, Kaito san, and be ready. On it. Oh, and try not to get carried away. Can't afford to get that thing fixed again. Yeah, yeah. Just don't lose him. But yeah, come on, Dev, you can do it. You can beat Yakuza 5, I believe in you. I don't know where you're at, but you can do it. And there you go. Easy peasy. He just ducked into an empty lot, Kaito san. Dead end. We follow him, we blow our cover. What do you think he's doing in there? Probably meeting someone he doesn't want to be seen with. Makes sense. Pigeon's up. Can you see it? Hold on. <laughs> right, active search mode. It's basically the tailing thing again. Active search mode is used when investigating crime scenes, checking facts, and scouring for evidence. You'll operate in first-person view during this mode. Use the objectives displayed on the right side of the screen to help you figure out what you need to investigate. There are times where you must stand in place and observe the area without moving around. Move the crosshairs over suspicious areas and hold RT to hone in on, R2 to hone in on them. Uh, an examine icon will appear if there's something for you to check out. Press X to examine that spot. Examine various pieces of evidence to satisfy all objectives to complete your investigation. That's no pigeon, that's a cat. But yeah, uh, throughout both sub-stories and main stories, uh, sometimes when you're looking around you might hear cat meows. That means there is a cat that you can look at for bonus XP. There's an achievement for getting all the cats that are part of the uh, main story ones. You can miss the sub-story ones, those are fine. Suspicious. But why would you? Hold on, 
I'll send a feed to your call. Nice flying, Kaito-san. Keep it steady. You been practicing? Now's not a good time, Talk. Gotta concentrate. Hmm. There's another guy in there with him. So he is meeting someone. Hey, I know that guy. It's a bookie for horse races. How do they not n Try hear the loud-ass drone? Off debt, huh? Because that always works. Yeah, well, if they came all the way out here just to meet... He must have the cash on him. Mm -hmm. We'll get what we need if we move now. You remember what we're doing here, right? Collecting the dip at Detective Owens. Oh, I get it. This is our chance. Just relax. Let me do my thing, okay? You got it, Talk. Don't fuck it up. No promises. Nice night, huh, detective? Huh? I hear the bookies in Kamurocho make some pretty good deals. You win 10% more, you lose 10% less. They make it sound so enticing. Maybe I should get in on it. Hey, where are you going? Don't you need your money? What the hell is this? Who are you? I'm here to get my client's money back before you lose it on another horse. So they hired a thug to collect. Should I be impressed you found me? A thug? Well, that's not very nice. You and I are in the same business. You're a detective? Afraid so. I hear you're pretty hard to get a hold of. That's why the people you owe came to me. Look, I know you have the money on you. <laughs> How did you not hear it earlier, buddy? Just do us both a favor and pay up. Don't put up a fight. <laughs> well, you're right. I have the money. But look, I'll pay everything back after I win big on this next race. Just wait, okay? Are you serious? I didn't track you down just so you could... Maybe next time! Whoa! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where did you get a flare? Kaito-san, he's making a run for it. I saw. Where are you going, little guy? Damn it. Get back here. Why did you just have a flare on you? Time for a chase! You know, the thing we got tutorialized at the very start of Yakuza 7 and then never used again? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a little thing I should probably remind people of. I mean, I'm pretty sure most of us know this because most of us have played these games, but although I'm do playing this game after 7, this game does take place before 7. Judgment takes place in between 6 and 7. So, like, a bunch of the stuff at the end is, like, 7 that, like, would change the entire, like, worldscape of the Yakuza series. Completely disregarded. That hasn't happened yet. When a target runs, well, so do you. Navigate the city without bumping into obstacles, but performing the prompted stick and button inputs correctly to catch up with your target. The distance gauge tracks how far away the target needs to get before you lose them. Hold up! Already. God, they've really done fucking nothing to restore Little Asia, huh? Feels extra as hell. Oh, you fool, this is a dead end. 
capture fleeting targets by pressing circle as soon as you get close enough. Here, try capturing his, this target right now. Already. <laughs> Fuck off! You need to learn when to quit. Shut up. I have it all figured out. I'll get the money! Player detective. Yagami can utilize two distinct combat styles, Crane and Tiger. Crane is particularly effective against large groups, whereas Tiger is more, most effective against a singular opponent. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I should probably hide the battle tip thing in back. Like, the controls in battle. Don't really need that. I don't get it. Didn't you say you were a detective? What's your name? I never said I'd field any questions, asshole. It's Yagami. Take a good look. Now do you believe me? So, let's be civil here. Just hand over the cash, okay? 150 grand sound good? Back the fuck off! You running some kind of racket here? I'll sue you! Oh yeah? <laughs> Damn, Keith! Sue? The fuck do you think you are? Huh? Uh, hold on, Kaito-san. The hell? You're not a detective, asshole. You're fucking Yakuza. Oh, yeah? Guess you know what'll happen if you don't pay up there. Hey, ease up, Kaito-san. I'm sure he doesn't want to piss you off anymore. I said all right. Listen here, asshole. I'm gonna sue your ass into the goddamn ground. You see this? You broke my fucking nose. <laughs> Don't be so melodramatic. I think we both know who threw the first punch. No, no way I'm gonna let that slide. Just you watch, you'll see the court's gonna... Huh? But that's... a lawyer's badge. So you're not a detective. And? You still want to sue? You know, you won't know what hit you. <laughs> yeah, how could be such a little shit? I love him. <laughs> I mean, Kaito's best boy, but. Oh, nope, nope, no, no, nope, nope, nope. That this is licensed music that gets muted. <laughs> Which is a shame because it's a good song. But yeah, Yagami here is Greg Chun. <laughs> Don't mind me also hitting the wrong button and muting myself instead of the music for a second there. <laughs> hey, don't throw a cigarette at me, buddy. Come on! Why you do that? I mean, it's not quite like license license. This song was made for this game, but uh... You know. <laughs> it's one of those... Like, edge cases where it's like, I'm not going to trust it. And I'm muting it just in case. Like I did with the intro to Gaiden. <laughs> Yeah, Arpeggio. It's a really good song. I would recommend looking it up and listening to it. <laughs> I 
I forgot you're voiced by Matt Mercer, too. I forgot. Man, this looks so lame without the music. <laughs> A shame. Need awful free word music to play in s situations like this. What if I set up the, uh... Fuck, what's the song from Katamari Dama Damashi? Where it's like the, like the, you know, like the iconic one. No better place for a night out. The like, na 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 That one. What if I just played that one whenever I had to mute a song? The dark of the shadows. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there. The Tojo clan. And the deeper you dig, the more interesting things get. More dangerous, too. Take this burglary ring. Just a bunch of kids looking for kicks. Word is, they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. As for the cops, they can't catch a single one. The only thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, Oh yeah, uh, General Gore warning for this entire game. There's a bunch of eye horror. Over three months, three Kansai Yakuza have turned up dead. Most think it's the Tojo clan making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. <clears throat> this one's missing its eyes too. <clears throat> That's not the only thing, though. All three of them were missing their eyes. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex-Tojo. And me? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer. But I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge, it's barely even a decoration at this point. Yeah, luckily, as far as I remember, we don't ever actually get to see the corpses without their sunglasses, but it is very clear uh, that they are missing their eyeballs and like them losing their eyeballs is often like conversation topic so uh yeah if you're sensitive to that maybe not the game for you but chapter one three blind mice also i just realized that means that uh this is technically three games that greg chun voices a detective where there's eye horror why does this keep happening to him why has this happened three times at least Here, I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway, I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place, see if he's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty-handed. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So generous. My boy's all grown up. Don't mention it, Dad. Now get going. <laughs> oh, Brad, I have a cat up there. I forgot her. Don't you have a fucking pinball machine? We can't play it yet, though. I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Even come in a box. Huh? Well, 
Genda Sensei's got a pretty big sweet tooth, if you get me. Right. I'll go pick some up. Because he's just got that vibe, Date Chan is Bay, though. <laughs> really sounded like Date. It really did sound like Date right there when he was pretending. So, yeah, uh, you can decorate the office with things. And I put a cat up here because why not? I don't remember what else I have. I have more cats. I can just fill the place with cats. Oh, that's the one. Th that's the cat we call Kaito because he has the big angry eyebrows. Starts throwing porn mags at Yagami. Dude, can you imagine if he also got superpowers? Yeah. Maybe putting Ono on the ledge next to the cats is a bad idea, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I trust the cats, which is probably going to be a big mistake. Surely they'll be nice to meet you. <sighs> yeah, a uh, different Dante Demon Queen. <laughs> if we ever talk about Dante and helicopters, we are talking about the Yakuza Dante, not the Somnium Files Dante. <laughs> Oh, I shot Popo. What's it do? Now to bring it to Genda Sensei. Hold on there, pal. You just bought some of them Doriaki, yeah? Sorry, but they're mine now. You're really gonna uh, fight me over okay. sweets? Look, I've been after one of those things for days now, and you just bought the last fucking box. Can't stand for that, right, boys? Wow. Can't argue with that logic. <laughs> you would fight over sweets? You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> oh yeah, you can perform a wall jump by pressing the uh, by pressing X to spring towards the wall. On top of being able to wall strike by pressing uh, square, you can also perform uh, triangle or circle attacks or even EX actions out of the wall jump. Come on. There's not really a good wall to do this on. Fucking. Fucking. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do, but that'll do. <laughs> there we go. And then yeah, you can spend SP to boost your base stats, such as health and attack, or learn various battle skills. Uh, there are also some skills that you must unlock by meeting certain requirements. For the time being, try learning wall jump finisher. I think I already have that game. <laughs> Ow. Hey. Ah. Fuck you. So wait, steady. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Hey! Always getting into trouble. <sighs> Captain Hamura. Hmm. Captain of the Matsugane family, a Tojo clan subsidiary, Kyohei Hamura. Let go! Or Hamura, rather. You, uh... Our boy Tak here doesn't start shit without a real good reason. And that means it was you. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy. Uh, no. Uh, you know this guy's like a son to the Matsugani patriarch, right? Uh, know what I'm trying to say, asshole? Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. <laughs> this 
right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kengo, you haven't met our buddy Tuck here, have you? He's a guy you want to know. Hotshot detective type. Right. It's good to meet you. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally! <laughs> Get this, though. The first thing that killer did... Objection! <laughs> Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, uh, damn. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass talk. <laughs> we were all thinking it. Not yet. There's a lot of oh, overlap. <clears throat> <so long. clears throat> Excuse me. Here, this is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. Yeah. Like an <laughs> Ace Fine. You mind asking him something? How long is he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh, I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugane-san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. Come on, let's go. Illustrious Captain Hamura is as snide as ever. Still haven't seen Gen the Sensei. Better drop by the office soon. Street battles, you'll get attacked uh, on the street. If a fight takes too long, the cops will show up and you have to run away from the cops. But yeah, uh, because both Ace Attorney and this game uh, are critiques on the Japanese legal system, there's a uh, bunch of overlap. Like, uh, obviously, if you recognize the defense attorney and prosecutor's badges, you'll see them here. Uh, they already mentioned how uh, Japan's like legal conviction rate is like. No. Nice choice. Not. Uh, that, but that Japan's like conviction rate is like 99.9% .9 like accurate or like not accurate, but like has a 99.9% .9 conviction rate. That's it. Oh, I'm so sorry, Namba. You're a different Namba, but I'm sorry. And it's just like, you know, that's, that's clearly a sign that your system is perfect and functioning well and that there's definitely no kind of corruption or bad deals. That's definitely something to brag about. Hey there, sorry son. Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. Lawyer at the Genda Law Office, Issei Hoshino. The lesser Hoshino. So I hear you're good. Passed the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, uh, Yagami. Evening, Genda-sensei. Other than my real dad, 
There's two people I look up to like a father. Genda Sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani Sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? Are we a lawyer? You Technically, but we're more a detective. You hate each other. We have the guys. lawyer's badge still, and we were never here. properly disbarred, oh, no. but. Shintani's like a mentor to me. We work so, like a detective you mostly. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda Sensei. I got you some dorayaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. Huh? <clears throat> Sorry? Did you eat them all? All but half. Hope you don't mind. Same salary, same. <laughs> Do not give me a box of sweets. I will eat the whole thing in one sitting. <laughs> Say, sorry, son. Got any work lined up for me? Nope. <laughs> cool, thanks, salary. I know you're looking for work, Yagami-san, but asking you for favors feels strange. So, what are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda Sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep hey, doing Jester, this welcome, to yourself, welcome. Yagami? Thanks for the follow. You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Much Kamara appreciated. was a safe place. Uh-huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda Sensei. Hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes, but it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? A guy's got to stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy Chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just. Give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. Uh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for them. Anything you say. Was here when Hamura showed up, but you had to recover from the coffee fit he gave you? <laughs> Fun fact, that's actually not how Hamura originally looked like. Hamura had a, like, he was modeled after his voice actor. But uh, that original voice actor got into like a scandal like right before the game came out, and so they like very quickly like recast and remodeled him. Like right before the game came out, and it's like goddamn. And honestly, I think he looks better this way. <laughs> yeah, Pierre Taki was his original VA, and he got arrested for coke use. And so like. Yeah, they updated the model and the VA within a month, which is like, holy fucking hell, <laughs> but good for them for being able to do that. <laughs> I fought the law and the law won wrong game. <laughs> and I'm looking dot, I mean, uh. <laughs> Genda law office. The dot parallels and comparisons yes. are going to be eternal, mm -hmm. aren't they? <laughs> okay. Yagami-san. 
That was Shintani Sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. Been years since we had a murder case. Shintani Sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. You have Prince with the original hum hum on your wall, and man, he's your sleep paralysis demon. Hamu V2, save me. <laughs> Shinta Whoops, sorry. Shintani Sensei is waiting for you at Tender. C cannot talk to Hoshino. Shintani asked for you specifically, huh? Wonder what the case is. I, okay, I was like, are you gonna let me leave? Anyway. <laughs> we don't need the elevator. <laughs> Jumping out the window is the best way and fastest way to leave <laughs> the law office. Does this game have drone racing? It sure does. I didn't get too into it in either game. Out of the way. What the fuck? Get out of here. What a waste. Oh, inventory is full. <laughs> oh God, what skills don't I have? Oh, I never. I never got to get drunk and power up. I never found the tiger drop QR code? Okay. Never did the flux fisher stuff for some reason. Man, I didn't find a lot of the stuff, huh? Maybe I had the patience to breed a gold chocobo I like, can do the drone racing. Dude, I first played this years ago, and I have not touched it since. Oh yeah, I didn't need those. Because that's easy. Either I don't have that, or I'm going to re-get that once I progress through the story. Did I not go super into Dice Cat? Oh, that's why the enemies are sneaking up on me. <laughs> Paradise VR and LJ Supremacy. It's so much better in Lost Judgment. It's so much better in Lost Judgment. Uh, what's the thing I'm looking for? Yeah, okay, I think it's this stuff. If combat in the Judgment Games feels a little weird, or at least, you know, in this one, I believe it's because you want these ones. Because Yagami is not a brick wall like Kiryu is, and so he'll, like, stumble a lot if he gets, like, hit. But if you have these, he will stumble less so long as you are in Tiger. I think that's the ability. Anyway. By the playground panic, even though that does 
that's me no good. God, compare? My slick SP in here to it in Lost Judgment, where I like <laughs> managed to buy every skill in Lost Judgment because there were the EX, the uh, EXP upgrades for skills. You asked. Like you know, get more uh, out of. <laughs> out of like exp stuff and i like <laughs> went out of my way to buy all of those as soon as i could and then i had enough exp to buy every skill and i have so much in reserve that i can't spend it on anything it's called tender Got my first job here 20 years back. Masuda san never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani sensei is in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that, Tuck? A detective buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on, you called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. Huh? and I'm getting a drink. Can you take your sunglasses off when you're I'm indoors? Paying. And Let's it is nighttime. Expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Take it he's your client? Yep. Got hauled in earlier. <laughs> you joked again! <laughs> with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugane patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda-sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda Sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. Yeah, I suppose I do. Objection! down to the case <laughs> The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy, part of the Kyori clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hamura is the one who did it. Hell of a case, I man. I was just thinking if Phoenix Wright was this in is this the game, third there'd somehow be even more like bullshit. <laughs> Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here. So the media isn't swarming. Mm -hmm. And this Thomas game already has alibi. some bullshit. First two incidents. <laughs> this third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly giving the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on. Even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Clever thinking is rewarded as conversations progress. You may come across a point where you'll have to select the best response. During that cr critical thought process, you'll gain uh, be able to gain an SP bonus if you consecutively select the best choices to gather information as quickly as possible. If you choose unwisely, you lose your chance to get that SP bonus. Once you have the chance to gain a bonus, the number of good choices will show up at the top right of the screen. The number of stars display represent the number of good choices within that selection. So yeah, why did they, uh, so like, for example, there's, out of these three questions, only two of them are good. Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. 
First, the victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. I just ordered another copy of your favorite magazine earlier and it has a Hamura page. Well, you're gifting one, but that's not the point. <laughs> I mean, he is a good looking guy. Miss how saturated the colors were in the PS4 version is so pretty. Yeah, I don't know why they like sapped out all the color in the remaster. And it's like, Yakumi's hair is no longer black. It's like brown. His lips look purple in like several like shots. And it looks like everybody has like hypothermia. The only good part about the remasters is that it made a bunch of the tailing segments infinitely simpler. Like, uh, there is one tailing segment that we'll get to near the end of the game. Because I have the, uh, PS4 version, we have to do that one in full. The remaster shortened that one. But we <laughs> get to do the whole thing, which is going to be a, a mess. Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah, he told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? <laughs> Not say you noticed that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they like shortened the tailing segments in the remaster. But yeah, the lighting issue is weird because it's only in the remaster for this game because in Lost Judgment, which came out after that, they fixed it and it looks good. Like, Yagami has his proper colors back. Nobody has hypothermia. It's wild. I think I know enough. What the hell were they doing with the remaster for this game? You go on ahead. I got some Which, uh, one, first. this is a PS4 Just game? Why are you remastering PS4 games? What are you we'll doing? Do. PS4 games don't need remasters. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we uh, have a case file, which will like basically show us like, you know, uh, main story stuff and side stories stuff, basically sub stories. Oh, uh, and you can like look at like, you know, everybody involved. Which is kind of neat. Leaving already talk and only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. I'll tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Karaoke? There is unfortunately no karaoke in the Judgment Games because Yagami's Japanese voice actor is a uh, actual singer, and getting him to sing would cost way too much. Yeah. Takuya Kimura is really expensive to get him to sing. Yeah, how to quadruple the budget in half a minute. Yes. Uh, so there's no karaoke in these games. In Lost Judgment, there is a dance mini game, which is like close enough. But yeah, where are we going? Right, taxi. Also didn't port this to PC. Have they not done that yet? Because I know these games are on Xbox now, at least. Pretty sure these are on PC now. QR thing? Oh god, what have I done? Why have I bought an alarm? Oh god! I don't know where the f 
fucking QR code is? Oh god, what have I done? Why have I bought an alarm? Oh, I'm gonna go fucking insane. I'm, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go. <laughs> we're just gonna go. We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, Doc? Why the long face? Hammerasan. Ah, uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. Then I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. No. Because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy... Well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tuck. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose, right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emi Terasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. <clears throat> you think, um, we could maybe get back to the case? Sure. Why not? You good to go? Damn it. Guess it's just part of the job. I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. Yeah, the dumps the for these games are really good. The police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? Kume. Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kyori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? What do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? 
Nah, he tried to split. Too bad this isn't Sen's roommate. Him, we could have avoided so much war. stuff. What? I I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, Amor is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. A few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, and he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you, too, if I was a cop. Yeah, it doesn't look good. <clears throat> what do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run-of-the-mill Kyori Grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Why didn't you guys take Kume's friend in, too? <laughs> we tried. Bastard ran like the goddamn wind, though. You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? <sighs> Apparently between two and three in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. Hell yeah. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? No, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Yeah, shouldn't there be a worker that knows? I think I've that saw you. Now. We'll get going then. Funny that Greg also thinks Hamura is hot. Hell yeah! The dots are going on, Michi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> there is proof you were watching intensely <laughs> with binoculars. Yeah, through a window? Sana go 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. <laughs> Sneaking around in a cardboard box like Snake. All right, investigate Sana go 10. Donkey! I miss you, donkey! Uh, Stitch and Joongi's hair? Heck yeah! All of your costumes look like they're coming along really nicely. I'm impressed. I don't know how people make their own cosplays and stuff. Sonago 10. This is where Hamura says he was the night crime. Excuse me, you work here? Yeah, come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, yeah, surely there's like a camera? Hear about a murder, the Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? I see. If this old man had remembered Hamura's face, then he would have had an alibi. You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? Then as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. I can prove that Hummer was here on the night of the crime, then that would solve everything. 
But there supposedly wasn't any promising evidence to point to an alibi. You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Damn it! Maybe I should try asking some other people around here. Uh, hey, you. Are you here often? Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic 10 on the night of December 3rd. <sighs> you seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost! Damn it. Uh... You? Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sonic 10 on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This the is the common guy. friend was Name's unreasonably Hamura. cute. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Guess this isn't much of a lead then. Thanks for your help. Hey, do I have to talk to often, everyone? Right? Did you see a Yakuza head into Sonico 10 the night of December 3rd? Um, why would I know that? You're crazy, mister. Oh, hi, Makoto. From Persona 5? Not much of that. I guess I should have dealt with the night. Yeah, I did have to talk to everyone. Thank you, friendly fellow. Guess who's definitely never eaten in your restaurant? Well, we don't technically know he's advertising for a restaurant. Those are the kinds of people that just like hand out ads and flyers for like whatever the heck. And given how we are in Kamurocho, uh. Oh, it shows up on the map. Move this fucking cart! There we go. <laughs> Yeah, Cherry Lay, that's the name. I mean, I'm assuming it's because they're all like from like the same like studio company union or whatever, but there are a lot of uh persona voice actors in these games. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, the DLC! Oh no, the DLC! Oh fuck! I already have the stuff! Please! Okay, we're good. <laughs> You're still here? I thought you'd have left hours ago. I was gonna, but I realized all I do at home is pass out. Did go for a drink, though. Oh, now you're having another. You know that bottle's mine. <laughs> well, Genda Sensei give you any work? Yep, probably thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes straight from Matsugane-san. Turns out, Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? For one of those Kyore clan murders. You mean that eye-gouging shit? Mm-hmm. I just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. Need 
a crock del potato? <laughs> I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. If you want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up, not him. Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good. It is kind of similar. <laughs> Yeah, Masada having coffee dad's voice is so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Masada only had like two lines in that one scene. And in the back of my head, I was like, is that Sojuro? I think that's Sojuro. Okay, I kind of can't, like... I was about to say, why am I allowed to do that? Can I, like, get y'all closer together? Eh, eh, good enough. Then you can come closer to the center. So can you? We can bring me Michio a little bit in. Put more of these little guys in. Why is the red snapper green? They're kissing. You need to play Persona 5 into Thirst Over Sojuro. <laughs> yeah. I forgot where I have got all these fish. I sure do have them, though. Oh, yeah, I have a cat over here. Yeah. No, go back. Where were you? How'd you fit? Damn it. Can I fit any more fish here? Suppose I could do that. <laughs> that kind of works. Do you really need to take up that whole thing? Alright, anyway. Oh, fucking dog! <laughs> they came out of the controller that scared the hell out of me! Funny. Morning, sunshine. Why was that so loud? Yeah, and? You know, Majori, little cafe, killer coffee. Also, Yakumi sleeps on the couch in his Another office, buddy. Meeting. What the fuck? Don't whine. You're back. I you liked keeping busy. It was so loud. Cafe Miore, which one's that? Over here. I think this is a normal place. Oh wait, no, it's this place. Okay. <laughs> Completely forgot about this place. Hey, over here. Take a seat. Right. Anyway, I asked around near Sauna Go 10. Couldn't get anyone to back up Hamura's alibi, though. All right. Good work. So, what'd you call me out here for? 
Something came up. Take a look at this. Cops released it to the media. It's the camera footage from a moor. Tamara and Kume are both in here. Clear as day. Damn. Didn't realize the cops had their hands on this. This could be pretty bad. It sure can. Ready? I'm gonna play it. Kume's the poor bastard getting dragged into the club. Explains why Kumi's buddy there is running for his life. Yep. How did you get the resolution to be better when zooming in? Akira Murase, another Kyori thug. Word is, he hasn't left Kamurocho after getting interrogated by the cops. By the look of things, there must be a Kyori hideout nearby. Crazy how clear it all is. Hamura can't just talk his way out of this. Yep. And there's more. Take a look at this. Wait, did something else happen? What else could the camera caught? One hour later, everyone leaves, except for Hamura and Kume. Even the owner hightails it. Wait, why would they stick around? Who knows? Our pal Hamura never mentioned this part. Now, this happened around 10 p.m., meaning there was another four hours before Kume's suspected time of death. The question is, what were the two of them doing all that time? So there's no doubt Hamura was alone with Kume right before he died. What did Hamura say? What did Hamura say he did with Kume again? Hamura said he threw Kume out of the club around midnight. After that, he left the club himself and went to the sauna. Right. But I want to hear how it all went down from a different angle. That's where you come in, Yagami. You gotta talk to the guy in charge of Amor. Ah, generic NPC Back face. Up a second. Huh? You're the lawyer here. I get that. You decide what kind of investigation we need for the trial. But don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah, but aren't you gonna talk to him either way? All the same. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop barking orders at me. Should have been you, but okay, what, you won to get thrown around by Hamura? Please. Is it Bond Street? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, to be fair from that footage, it looked like Hamura was barely holding on to the guy. It was mostly the goons. Isn't this where real estate used to be? I miss real estate. Bubble more. This is where everything went down between Hamura and Kume. I think, you know, the footage should help me find where the camera is. Mm. You have to be a bit of a masochist to be to a man like him. <laughs> All right. Want to say there's a cat here? Uh huh. I don't remember where, though. I don't hear the cat. Hmm. Nope, no, there's the cat. There's cat. Hmm. Anyway. Found it. <laughs> yeah, the cat heard me. This is the security camera that gave us our footage. Better go talk to the owner of Amor.
Hello, I would like to speak to the manager. Uh, who are you? You need something? Oh, hi, you're Lowenthal. Actually, I was wondering if you have a minute to talk. About? About December 3rd. Oh, I had that day off, man. If anyone's gonna know, it's our manager. He doesn't come in till nighttime, though. The manager, huh? This him? Oh, it is. What's his name? Aragaki. Think you could get in touch with him for me? We need to have a chat. I could try. Hold on. I knew this was gonna happen. He never has his phone on during the day. He usually hangs out near here, though. You mean in Kamurocho? Yep, usually. All right, I'll go take a look around. If you don't mind me asking, how? You're just gonna walk the whole city? Yep. No, I have a plan. Someone I can use to help me find him. With the name and photo, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Huh, if you say so, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks for the help. I love how Yuri Lowenthal just keeps getting called in for his normal voice. But yeah, there's supposed to be a backdoor too. Hanra said there was something. If I'm having a new game plus and already found all the cats, does that mean I can have double cats? Maybe. So this is the back of the club. Oh, security camera. Oh, wait, it's broken? <sighs> Damn. I heard the cry of Hanra said he and Kume left the club from this door. This camera would have caught that if it had been working. Why are the sounds coming from the controller so loud? That's where the owner is. I know just the person to ask. I have a feeling he'll be where he always is. Montai Internet Cafe. If you've played six, do you know where this place is? I do love how Yagami is allowed to go through like the narrow passageways like that and like nobody else is because they're all built like brick houses, brick walls. Kiryu could never fit through that, even if he went sideways. Yeah. Where's the entrance? No, wait, you're in this side? Where are you, buddy? There you are. Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, uh, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Got what game you playing, buddy? Like you for it, Tsukumo. God, this I wish it was live chat, <laughs> chat time. Could you imagine? Well, he's a character. Tsukumo! Tsukumo makes a living digging up dirt on the internet modern-day informant, if you will. More detective work, I assume? What's the mark this time? A lost cat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The owner of Club Amour, a man named Aragaki. He's probably somewhere nearby, but I don't have time to scour all of Kamurocho, either. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foots for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. Ah, what do we have here? You already have the chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh, I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. And there we go. Here. How are look. you doing this? Go ahead. Try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Okay, and let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say today. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. Not gonna lie. I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> Wow. Hmm. 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. 
Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? Some crazy French word? Oh, yeah. It's Club Amour. Great. Let's try Aragaki and Club Amour. Well, looky there. Narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? Nope. Just someone who saw him. That's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only ten minutes ago. Meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Appreciate it. Oh, and try to get out more, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? Same, Sukumo! Have I watched Lupin the Third the First? I have not, unfortunately. Uh, I want to get into Lupin more, but the only one that I have seen is a uh, Castle of Cagliostro, right? I always forget the title of that one because uh, uh, Lobato from Psychonauts, his first name is really similar, and I get the two confused. And I can never remember what the Lupin movie is called. But yeah, I want to watch more Lupin stuff. I want to get into it. It looks like a fun time. If you want Lupin tits like you spent many years being a massive Lupin boy, heck yeah. I may take you up on that offer. Okay, buddy. Who wrote the chatter posts? Uh. <laughs> Love the fly me a drone. There's like no people. Okay, it's that guy. It's gotta be that guy. <laughs> Got a second? Sure, I can spare a few of those. What's up? I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. Wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihei Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stink. Why is this man's voice so familiar? Like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. Why is that man's voice so familiar? Was that English Adachi? That might have been English Adachi. I don't remember. That is English Adachi? Okay. I was just like, I was like, you sound like someone I've heard recently who. See you next time. Hmm? Aragaki san, the owner of Amor? And you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, uh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory then? I've got something to show you. That one. Also, that it is very much Ace Attorney, where you present evidence to people. <laughs> On the night of the crime, you left Amur with these Matsugane goons, leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee-deep in this. <sighs> I guess I can't argue with that logic. Don't worry. I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamura's defense, and I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh, yeah? Whatever. I'll talk. Huh. 
You actually tracked him down. Appreciate the help. Now, what would Where are you been in my dreams? I have heard your voice. <laughs> well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? I ended up sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? He... He said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat. Alone. Well, that's suspicious. That's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. <sighs> but if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. <sighs> no clue what went down in the club after that. Uh... Security camera out back? Tell me about the camera out back. The broken one. <sighs> oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month. Some drunk asshole chucked a rock. <sighs> Cracked it right open. Yeah, it was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. Not much use to me, then. Damn it. Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them, for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning what? Like just smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while, they'd hit him a little harder to make him bleed, I guess. Interesting. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. We done here? Yep, thank you, sir. I will be leaving. Sorry about the table. It's a dragon engine. I have no control over myself. Oh boy, it's time. Why is it so close to your face, Kaito? Hey man, where are you? Just left a club called Amor over on Supon Street. Amor? Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yep. Hamura. Why is he coming out of my controller too? Murder. Anyway, need something? Help. Yep, swing by the office when you're done there. What's up? Uh, it's no rush. You'll see when you get here. Later. Why is it so loud out of the controller? I held up the controller to the mic there. It's so loud. I will be leaving and I am taking the table with me. It is a nice table. God. Out of the way. <laughs> Nice power up, idiot. Hands like, look, you only get like 27 EXP from random fights. It is so not worth it. Uh... Can I turn off the controls and stuff? I don't know. Why does it sound like I'm breaking up with the guy? Because I am. I'm taking the table in divorce. I'm going to use it to bash people's heads in. that table what the why is she here 
How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Good to see you, Yagami-kun. Public prosecutor, Mafuyu Fuji. Don't worry, it's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win my heart again? Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Guess I misspoke. Don't sue. Is she also Cherimile? <clears throat> I think she was. I'm here on business. Yes, she is. That should be obvious. Business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamra of the Matsugane family. You're involved, aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Saori-san just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. Apple emoji? Since you were kids, right? Yep. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges? They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor is... Your friend, Izumira. Somehow I knew it'd be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. I see. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. Wow, rude? The fuck? This is my life! Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. After she just insulted us? Huh. I mean, I guess it is Kamarocho. <laughs> and it's night. <laughs> Kamarocho is uh, not a good place to be. Where'd she go? Mafa you. Not so fast. Who are you? Oh, hi, Sojiro. Chief Prosecutor? And Yagami-kun, what are you doing? Well, I was planning to walk you home. Really? That's so sweet. Well then, I apologize for my forcefulness. Chief Prosecutor Kunihiko Morita. Sure. This is Chief Prosecutor Morida. And, um, you already know Prosecutor Izumira. Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn near breaks my heart. You look punchable. Public Prosecutor Keigo Izumira. So you're defending Hamura, huh? Nope, Shintani's handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. Looks like you don't need that walk home off of you. Later. <laughs> He's definitely oh, yeah. punchable. I almost forgot. You're not a lawyer anymore. I, I haven't been disbarred. Mark acquittal. Too bad. I do still have. I'm still qualified. Because I was up against you. You shut your damn mouth. If it wasn't for your bullshit logic, that murderer would have been behind bars. An innocent girl died because of you. What, Tell you don't like logic? Bullshit about my defense, then. Come on, say it. Everything! That's enough, Izumira. It's okay, Izumira-san. <laughs> He's, so <laughs> He's so mad! Yagami-kun. He's so mad! His head looks like it would make a good baseball bat. 
Or maybe even just a good baseball. Man, has that guy got an aura or what? If I was a chick, I'd be way into that. Not now, Kaito. Who are you talking about? The pro I hope you're talking about the chief. So, what do we do about the case? Mafuyu said they're already pressing charges. We should go to Genda's. Let Shintani know what's going on. I want you there, too. Got it. See you over there, then. What is it now? Look, just, uh, take a breather, huh? Count to ten or something. I'll give you a breather. Can you sway your ass anymore when you walk, buddy? Show me that cake. I mean, what? Oh, hey, Tsuko. Sorry to bug you, Magishi, but I kind of need to ask a small favor. Think of it as paying me back for last time. Fair enough. What do you need me to do? I mean, a model figure. There's a specific one I've been looking for, and apparently they have it at Ebisu. Which makes sense, since they're limited edition and sold out everywhere else. This may be my only chance to get it. All right, I can see what I can do. Ebisu, he must be in the pawn shop. That's not too far. Tsukumo's always helping me out, so I do owe him one. Poor guy's never felt comfortable outdoors. Friend event! Here to buy? Show me that love star figure. <laughs> I think this is what Sukuma wanted, but how would he even know a pawn shop would have it? Well, I guess I'll go make the handoff. I'm just getting like Dave the Diver flashbacks with Duff being like, hey, can you go get me my anime figure and my hand up go fight Cthulhu to get it? Still wonder why people keep leaving metal plates in this around the city. I don't know. Were you not? Really, guys? <laughs> exactly. Where are the portal mags? I need to make Yagami more powerful. Because clearly this works across characters, right? Hey. Are you the goods? This is the one, right? Taste my cone! Oh, wait, that sounded wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the one. Many thanks. How much was it? Nah, it's not me. I'm paying you back for last time, remember? Really? Hey, that's pretty generous of you. No worries. Though, wouldn't it have been quicker to go by yourself? Uh... Really, what can I say? I'm a busy guy. Plus, there's this pre-order about to open up, and so it's time to man the battle stations. <sighs> You've always got a reason to stay cooped up, huh? You never change. Nah, I shouldn't say that. You've improved a lot, actually. It's all thanks to you, Yag Yagabishi. I might never have made human contact again if it weren't for you reaching out to me. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of which, <laughs> you finally set foot out of your house, only to end up hiding away in a net cafe? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, wind the rent's cheap and the internet's fast. What more can you want in life? Besides, this is the perfect place for an informant to set up his base of operations. True. You always have been a big help, that's for sure. Either way, I'm lucky to have you. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. Once you become friends with someone, you'll sometimes receive items from them when you pay them a visit. If you don't get an item, try coming back later. So yeah, Yagami, of all people, gets to have the power of friendship? I'm surprised Yagami got this. Yeah, some people in town have a special icon as shown on the left. This signifies that you can become their friend. The more friends you have, the more side cases, and meaning sub-stories, 
become available. Depending on who you talk to, you might just end up being a powerful ally. In order to become friends with someone, you have to fill up their friendship meter. A person's friendship meter will fill up as you help them solve their issues and listen to their concerns. If you want to interact with a friend who seems unavailable, try doing other things for a while. Don't know if that vending machine from Zero is still there. I don't think it is. I think that, uh, vending machine is only there in Zero. Because it's like, what, in here? So yeah, we now have friend events. For most places that are shops, it's really just buy stuff from them. I will just take some coleslaw, coleslaw please, and thank you. Back to it. I forget if friendship in this game is based off of the amount you buy or how many times you visit. But we will see. Hey, that was delicious. No more. Thanks, I noticed that you've been here a couple times. Yeah, I try to swing by every so no often. More. Cool. Um, how use you, by the way? I've probably butchered that and I apologize. Nah. Got yourself a name partner? You can call me Yagami. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, huh? All right. So, I'm new here in Japan. Mm -hmm. Ah, did you just arrive or something? Actually, I've been here for a while now, but it's still new to me. Makes sense. It does take time to adjust, especially when you're right in the heart of downtown. Aye. You got that right. Never thought I'd end up in Kamurocho of all places. I started off listening to Japanese music. I'd look up words I didn't know and study them as much as I could. Next thing I knew, I ended up here, mastering the language that moved my heart. <sighs> but I still have a long road ahead of me. Well, I think you're doing just fine. Just take it one step at a time. I'm sure you'll be all right. Good luck, Ju. Uh, thank you very much. Please come again. I don't know, a window? That's something you like more than cheap running a faster internet. Is it, though? I mean, windows are nice, but... I'm not sure if it's something you want more than those. Although, then again, I guess... Hmm. If a place only had the two and didn't have a window, that would be pretty bad. Yeah, the vending machine is super gone. There is a ladder, though. God, Yagami, why are you concave? And there's nothing up here. Take the ladder, thank you. <laughs> I was like, don't just jump off, please. Uh, many, many friends around town. I need to. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't get into a fight! Man, they are chasing me! You're still going? Give it a rest! Thank you. You're not living in a cube. The internet is barely making that tolerable. There you go. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. Just sit your ass down, would you? Might not be claustrophobic, but you sure as hell would go insane if you could take two steps without running into a wall. I mean, yeah, but Sukumo's not locked in a cube. He can't leave at any time. He's just a... Uh... 
hikikomori of sorts. Even though he's living in a public place, don't worry about it. So, you finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that Hamura's the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani-sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th, police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Oh, God. Have ADHD, you need to be able to walk in circles without people looking at you like I'm insane. <laughs> oh, I do that in my house already. I walk around talking to myself whenever I get, like, stimulated by something and I have, like, too many thoughts. My dad is concerned. <laughs> Even though I've been doing this for years. Quick search mode is used to ex when examining pieces of evidence. You get a complete view of the object in question on the left side of the screen during quick search mode. On the right side of the screen, you'll see an enlarged view of the area as well as the cursor. Parts of the evidence you can examine will appear in the enlarged view on the right side of the screen. Press X while the cursor is hovering over that area. Suspicious. Victim was a Kansai thug. Bottom feeder with the Kyori clan. Toshiro Kume. Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, <sighs> you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes, then tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the cure. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. I feel like that's a jab uh, at Ace Attorney, because in Ace Attorney, you have to find the real culprit in order to, like, get your client off the hook. Even if you've gotten to a point where you've made it very clear that your that your client could not have been the one to do it, the game is like, no, 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 you gotta find the real client, or the real culprit. What the? There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body, meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. Uh... Okay, what else we look at? Okay, so there's your eyes, which we've already uh -huh. done. Hey. Night of the crime, trash? an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. Suspicious. Gotta look at his dick. Nothing was found in Kume's pockets. No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. Uh huh. Hmm. My shoes look terrible with the old black getup. Yeah, they uh, stick the out. When you were over at Amore, doubt there's any traces left at this point, but it's apparently just out the back. Anyway, this is Kume. 
Just before he died. Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. So what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? There's a good chance the murders are the result of a Tojo clan versus Kyori clan turf war. Yep, go on. All right. This is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. December 3rd, just around 9 o'clock, right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club, at which point Murase abandons Kume <laughs> and flees the scene. Nice face, buddy. Hummer then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hummer kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of a moor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Does that Once kill instantly? I mean, we have Hamura another character who's living proof that you can survive that. When questioned, Hamura said, me and Kume left a moor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three, the prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them, it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Guess there's a lot of reasons for them to suspect Hamura. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Agreed. That's yeah, exactly. That was David Queen's point. Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer with you there um was that supposed to be a compliment what yeah if the Something tojo did, you, did it they would like put you in the Tomara sea or in concrete the person who did is still out there somewhere huh we've just got to find them if we want to clear hamura's name ha huh. you think we've got the manpower for that tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front best leaving that to the cops if you ask me my only job here is defending Hamra. My well, job is to prove the is to prove reasonable doubt, not the defendant's is innocence. To them, the truth is irrelevant. Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kume's buddy, the one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase from the Kyore clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? 
It's hard to believe. That's right. No, no self-respecting Yakuza would run off and leave his buddy to die. Murase must have at least attempted a rescue, but to find out for sure, that would mean... Come on, man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kyorei clan's door? Sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Murase. Huh. <laughs> You're the ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's the deal, remember? I'm a deal my ass. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. <laughs> He's right, though. Come on, Kaito-san. Fine. You can as long as the object misses the brain, but that would be extremely difficult with such precision on purpose. If you just first gouge out first. the eyes, they most likely die from the blood loss. Clan's yeah, that's probably they got a base or something. would happen. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugane-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. Yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Alright, bye, Gaito. Hang on, do I have bentos? There's like shirk stuff, isn't there? Yeah, I never did this. Oopsies. I was gonna say, I'm like, do I have no fucking bentos? Would you be interested in learning about the music fan we're holding? Hmm? Sure, why not? What's this all about? Hi. Well, with every 700 yen, uh, yen purchase you make, you earn a single point. Collect 10 of them, and you get a, a record. Or a prize. Limited edition record that sure the brain your day. Top of that, each of our branches carries a different record, so please visit us at any store you like. Do have a record player back at the office? You're welcome to try it out anytime. So everything I buy at Popo counts towards the prize? Not a bad deal. One, two, three. One more of those. Five more of those. And I believe that is enough. He's gone up by ten. And there you go. Easy peasy. You've gathered 10 points. Allow me to present your prize. Raising your friendship with the locals allows you to perform EX bonds with some of them. EX bonds work the same way as normal EX auctions, but they can only be triggered at, specific, at the specific location your ally is at. So if you find someone in town that you think would make a good ally, definitely get them on your side. So yeah, it basically unlocks more heat actions, which is, uh, fun. What was that? Okay, dude. I love being able to, like, read people's, like... <laughs> chatter posts as you pass them because sometimes they say the most insane things most of the time it's just like innocent stuff like that but every now and then you get like a excuse me that's a gone family office you defeated Jungi's wig? Hell yeah, you did it! Here. Da, 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 yeah! Clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. 
Yagami-san's here to pay you a visit. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like That's Hoshino from Seven. Patriarch of the Matsugane family, a Tojo clan subsidiary, Mitsugu Matsugane. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you I thought that there. I didn't see the desk that that guy was leaning on, and I thought he was just like hunched over trying to show us his okay. ass. And I was just like, wow, rude. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well. Under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. I'd be a very different person, I think. You would have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. Tea. So then, one would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome. Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? I was under the assumption Gender is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them, so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. Sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Does the name the Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. I can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... They've got a front in the city. The KJ Art Office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJR, eh? I'll check it out. I'm surprised they managed to get I in. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course. So I guess this is shortly after 6, and there would have been a power vacuum after the Jingwang and the uh, Triad left. Kaito, can you hold this a little bit further away? Office. The QRA are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh. And that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You just, just a little bit further away, please. Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. <laughs> Old man camera angles, it really is. I mean, at least they got that down. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> come on, man. It's like out of focus. Do you see all the like chromatic aberration? How have you done that to your own camera? Again. Nice power boost, buddy. And stay down. You sure did it. God, Kaito, I swear to God. What's up? <laughs> Me. You at KJR yet? Looks like it. Where are you? I'm on the opposite roof. Look up. Hmm. I think there's another cat here, if I remember. Kitty hmm. cat. Meow. Hey, Kaito, is this you? It has your eyebrows. Hey. What the hell is happening here? 
Wait, is he giving her a so shoulder massage? She doesn't look too into it. Well, I need to look for Kaito. Suspicious. There he is. That shirt's like a homing beacon. <laughs> Wait up in a sec. What the? Well, at the cat cafe. Buddy, I think your cats are on the loose again, because wasn't this one of them? The latter. Thank you, Yagami. Yeah, Kato. Instead of Kaito, it's Kato. Yo. Hell of a view, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Too bad the place is absolutely crawling with Yakuza. Guess this is the Kyore hideout after all. No doubt. And Marase? Couldn't find him. I looked pretty damn hard with the drone, too. You sure it was hard enough? Uh, sure. Y Come Yagami? On. Let's try again. I'll fly it this time. Yagami, what was that? When you want something done, do it yourself, right? Sure, you ass. Yep, oh boy. This here is Marase. Wonder if we can just peek through the windows, see if we can find him. Yep, I'll figure it out. Thank you. Examine areas using the drone. Use the objectives on the top right of the screen to help you figure out what you need to investigate while operating the drone. Move the crosshairs over potentially suspicious areas and hold R2 to focus on that spot. It, it's basically the same as all the other times. Kitty. Hey. Fancy room, don't see Murda say though. Hey buddy, what you reading? Dude, what's with the book? Don't these guys have anything better to do? No. I believe this is one of those times where you have to like wait for your target to get into view. Suspicious. I can hear about a bunch of desks. Where the hell are you, buddy? Because there were a few times where uh, you have to like wait for your target to get into position. Uh -huh. Unless, ah, uh, here we go. What the? Please, the camera. Hold up, hold up. That's him. Lieutenant of the Kyore clan, Akira Murase. Shit, we went inside. Let's try and figure out where to. And then I believe he shows up over here at some point. Meow. 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 
There he is. Come in here, buddy. Fucker. What the? Suspicious. Yeah, hey, there we there go. There he is. Well fucking done, man. <laughs> Thanks. Get me out of here. The controls are bad. Guy has his own office, huh? He must be important. Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told him why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What are you thinking? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one... The sky is time, baby! Maybe I could go undercover. Oh, yeah? Who has? I was thinking pizza delivery. You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? Yeah, why not? Right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Now you're talking my language. They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. Still. Who doesn't let the pizza delivery man inside of their house? Stroll on in there. True, huh? I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Who are you? And where'd you bury Tuck's body? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. Yeah, let's go. Can I save? I have not saved. There we go. Oh, so you may have noticed, this is a really long chapter one. I think this might be the longest chapter one in the entire series. Damn, it's locked. Because I just have to pick it. Oh, it's texting me. Cops are heading your way. Finish what you gotta do quick. Damn it, gotta hurry. Lock picking is a questionable yet sometimes necessary measure for opening locked doors. Use the pick to adjust the knots of the pin so that they line up with the uh, shear line, colored red. Each pin has a set position of the shear line. If you can open all the locks by aligning the shear pin, uh, or you can open the lock by aligning all the shear pins, shear lines, whatever the hell. Almost there. You mind? Nice. Perfect. Thank you. So yeah, I have a... I bought a second upgrade that made that way easier to notice. You don't really need any of the upgrades. It's really easy. Alright, just have to... We're going again! There. No way they're fixing that without a pro. Now for my disguise. Don Quixote, here I come. Excuse me, ma'am. Like, I would not be surprised if this chapter one takes this entire stream. <laughs> It is ridiculous how long this chapter one is. Donkey, save me! Work closed, please, and thank you. What's up? Check it out. Checking in. You get the goods? Yeah, I'm heading back now. 
Better hurry. The plan's working. KJ Art's chilling out over here. They just called a repairman. Perfect. I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, let's go. Always wanted a degenerate mess of a girlfriend. Fucking good on you, buddy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Why is that something you have posted on the internet? I'm ready. Get changed then, would you? Okay, okay. Now to get into that jumpsuit. You can mask Yugumi's identity with various disguises at certain parts of the story. Simply use the items app and navigate to the disguises tab. You must have the proper disguise set, set in your inventory to, in order to wear it. Disguises can't be worn all the time and they can only be worn when the investigation requires it. Which is a shame because some of these... Okay, I guess I don't have them here. But some of the costumes you can get, some of the disguises you can get, are really something. Nice. I think this will work. I know you're in a disguise and all, but don't let your guard down, okay? Try to blend in. Who do you think you're talking to? Thanks for the silence, buddy. See so you believe in me. Asshole. Things first, gotta get past the receptionist. Hi there. I heard you're having some heater trouble. I'm here to fix it. Yes, it seems to have stopped. Thank you for coming on such short notice. The main unit is just out the door to the left, right around the emergency stairwell. Uh, mind if I take a look at an indoor unit as well? These things can be pretty complicated. Is that really necessary, sir? Yes. It'll help me get a better idea of the whole system. I'd rather not bore you with the specifics. Very well, then. Sure. There's one in the security office to your left. Thank you very much. I'll have you guys heated up in no time. Bingo. It's too dark. I need to turn on the lights before I can look for the blueprints for the building. What do you mean? This is so bright. What the... Cat Hey. Cat -o. That's not the blueprints, but what is this? Uh huh. I love how somebody can't remember their password. There we go. This. Okay, found the blueprints. Hmm? Looks like you need a key to get to the stairs on the third floor. We'll be able to get to the room Murris is in. Gotta find a key somehow. This is a security room, so the key might be around here somewhere. Let's take a look. There's a safe. Somebody's got coffee. Hmm. There we go. What's this? Guess the key's in this room somewhere. Let the key out on the desk. You gotta keep it locked under high security. I put away for you this time, but you know what'll happen if you do it again. Safe, follow the note on the desk to keep key under high security. Not much higher security than a safe. 
Let's see, I need a code. Hopefully there's a clue to the password somewhere around here. What, you mean like this? 5038. 5038. Whoa, it worked! Right, this'll be... This will get me through to Marase. Now I just gotta find him. I should head for the fire escape. Should be to the left of this room. Still broken? And no real repairman in sight. Sorry, Pal, I don't think you're getting fixed for. anytime soon. Here to fix the heat, yeah? Got something I need you to check out. Oh, sure. No problem. Come on, this way. Yes, sir. I am here to serve. Shit, I don't have a choice. <laughs> Freezing my balls off, man. Hope this goes quick. Well, where are we going, sir? Where are you taking me? There it is. Power's on and all, but nothing's happening. Okay, let me see what I can do. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yep. Yeah, this thing's seen better days. Thanks, Sherlock. Can you fix it? Man, I have no idea how to fix a goddamn air conditioner. Hey, genius. If you're gonna fix it, don't you need to take the panel off first? I'm sure I'm supposed to go all in. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> 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 hey, <what's that? sighs> As if they can't hear that, Yagami. <laughs> oh, ain't that something? Never realized it was that simple. Glad I could be of service. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other repairs to make. Phew, that was a close one. Huh? Who are you? Oh, I'm uh, here to repair the heater, sir. Weird. You ain't the usual guy. Oh, hi, Kaiji. I have a usual guy? How often do their heaters break down? Where's our man, huh? Never had anyone else come for us. Oh, uh, about that. You know what? I'll just give him another call. See what's up for myself. So he's the one who put the call in. How do I get myself out of this? I got plastic surgery? Uh, I'm from a different company? I'm actually from Comro Maintenance, sir. Have you heard of us? We're small, but, uh, growing? Can't say that I have. Must be new in town. I guess someone else put the call in then. I love Sorry, how he's sir. using the Momo voice. I didn't mean to startle you. Yeah, it's all right. Makes sense why I wouldn't recognize you. We fix it or your money back, sir. Eh, <sighs> tricked him. Can't keep hanging around here, though. Gotta get moving. Looks like it's locked. Wait, what about the third floor key I found in the security office? That might just do the trick. Master the keys to unlocking! God damn it! Simply using the correct key is the one method of opening a locked door. Out of all the keys you own, choose the one that fits the keyhole and press the corresponding button. If you choose the correct key, it'll open. If you choose the wrong key, it stays closed and you have to try again. You will pick up more keys as you keep going. All right. Got it. I think that's the one? Yeah. No, wait. I want to check out the other places first. Doesn't look like anyone's in here. A 
toughness. Stairwells does this place have? Mm, this door wasn't on the map. Why are Yogg's office is always so confusing? I mean, the way the key from before won't work up here. Guess I'll just have to pick the lock. Almost there. Ba -ba -ba. Come on. Come nice. on. There we go. Perfect. Easy peasy. What the? There are any stairs up, but this isn't the top floor. We need to find a way to Murase. Need a code to get in here. I think it was a warehouse. There might be useful stuff in here, though, but I have no idea what the code is. Uh, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Dirty door for a reception room. No way I'm getting in there without the code. And no sign of Morase here. What if I just looked up what the key code was? Because I don't care. Full on that. <laughs> and I'm full on that. Oh, is this where the guy was reading the book? Yeah, so that's why you want to look at the guy reading the book so that that drops. But uh, I already have it, so uh, it don't matter. Someone's pretty pissed up there. You need to find a way around if I don't want to get caught. Objection! I actually genuinely don't remember where I go. Don't have time for this. Objection! This way. Through the open window. I can get out to the roof from here, and there's my way up. <laughs> Having a little bit of the jitters, it's fine. Price gets just over there. Now way down to the fifth floor. I'm not sure what's going on, but those guys look busy. I should try to sneak around them if I can. Thinking, dumbass. Turns out it's just one you dude and they're talking by themselves. <laughs> Please, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't look at me. Just your average maintenance man. Okay, now to climb the fence. You know, just right into the goons, it's fine. Crap. Who are you? What the hell you doing? Who the fuck? I'm here to repair your heat. You bastards! Could you have done this in any other position, Yagami? Help me! Someone help me! No. <laughs> Reflexes like a cat. 
Yagami is kind of cat-like, yeah. All right, all right. Yagami, where the hell are you aiming, buddy? Jackie Chan <laughs> enthusiast, yeah. Just get the hell out of here, huh? But Kaito, huh? Kaito son, but I got a call about a broken heater. I told you, we figured it out. All fixed, nothing to see here. Can <laughs> he I says as it is sparking sure in the background. Okay? Oh, and I'll need you to sign this too. I'm not signing shit. You didn't even fix anything. Now get the hell out of here. Uh, actually, could I borrow your restroom? I'm not feeling so good. Shit yourself for all I care. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Almost there. Hold on a little longer, Kaito-san. I love Kaito so much. Keith is so good. Hey, who the hell are you? Shh. I'm just here to talk, Murase-san. Get in there! Risked my life to get in here. <laughs> just yeah, so piss in the corner like a real man. You can't boss a yakuza. Around. <laughs> Kyoto and Clan Lieutenant Akira Murase! Ow! What the fuck, asshole? Eat the Akiyama strat! I'll murder you! Mortal wounds. You will receive a mortal wound when stabbed, shot, or hit with deadly attacks performed by enemies with intense auras. Though mortal wounds cannot be restored by eating or using recovery items, you can treat them by either visiting a doctor somewhere in Kamurocho or using a med kit. After charging up the EX, get the EX gauge, press RT to activate EX boost. During EX boost, your attack speed is increased and you become less likely to recoil from attacks since the EX gauge absorbs your damage, even deadly attacks. Moreover, changing combat styles during EX boost will allow you to cancel out almost any movement you're doing. You can juggle in this game if you're good at it. I am not. So yeah, welcome to a uh, bad mechanic, and I hate it. I hate mortal attacks so much. Because in this game, you don't have too many ways to avoid them. You can try to outright dodge them, you can wall jump, or you can use a heat action to try to the stop the attack. After, huh? <sighs> Lost Judgment gives you a way to very easily to make them a joke. Look at this. This is you running away after abandoning Kume. Who do you think you are? I'm a local detective. Hamura's lawyer is having me look into Kume's murder. So what? You're defending Hamura? You think I'm gonna tell you shit, asshole? I thought we already negotiated. You wanna go again? You're not getting out of this unscathed, you know. I know your face now. Do you really think Hamura killed Kume? Of course I do. Who else could have done it? That's what I'm trying to find out. 
I need to know what happened that night. <sighs> it's as clear as day. Hamura gouged Kume's eyes out. End of story. Yeah? Where? How? In the dump behind a moor. Bastard tortured Kume to death. Actually, the murder happened somewhere else, and I have the evidence to prove it. Cause there's no blood under his body. Which is, yeah, the autopsy report. Take a look at this. What the hell? That's cool. Look at this photograph. It's right, there's a hint in this picture. His body was moved out here after he died. There was something in this picture that showed that. Are you really gonna make me pick again? Hey. No signs of the blood. No signs of blood on the ground. That was it. Easy peasy. Sorry. I'm sure this is tough to look at. But as you can see, there's almost no blood around his body. That means he was killed somewhere else, then transported to the alleyway. Oh, I guess so. Mm, doesn't add up, does it? Yeah, I don't so, know how no one heard our scuffle. Ready to talk now? <sighs> I think I can finally get the main get to the main topic. Now. Okay, let's take it from the top. Now, after you ran away from Amor, where exactly did you go? You couldn't just let them take Kume, could you? Yeah, I had to do something. So, I went to round up the rest of the clan. We had to take Kume back. But nobody would help, would they? You kidding? Of course they helped. We burst in there ready to bust heads. But I thought nobody else went in or out of a moor. What? You mean because the camera didn't see anyone? <laughs> Funny thing that. Turns out you can't get seen if the camera's broken. The back alley was our ticket in. So you really went inside? Yep. Not a soul in the house, though. Trust me, we searched the whole damn joint. And when was that? Just after midnight, I suppose. Right when the prosecution says Hamura was laying into Kume. If you're telling the truth, that's a clear contradiction. Huh. Who gives a shit what the prosecution says? Hamura killed Kume, and that's that. Shouldn't you be Maybe rooting for the way. prosecution? Maybe so. But the police still need to hear your story. If you could just testify to that... You gotta be kidding me. Why the fuck would I do that, huh? Can't force him to testify. Nothing I can do about that. Yeah, it was worth a try. Was it? Was it, though? <laughs> nice work. So Murase busts into a moor. And who does he find? Absolutely nobody. Yep. Captain Hamura said he kicked Kume out, then hit the sauna right around midnight. The stories match up. You really think he's innocent? Not sure. Our next step is finding proof he was at that sauna. Somehow. Yes, that's that. Well, I'm pooped. How about we call it here for tonight? You've done Make nothing but stand here. I'll see you tomorrow, Kaito-san. You've just stood on the roof all day. What do you mean you're poked? Explain. Kaito, my work here is done. But you didn't do anything. I love how versatile that meme is. You can apply it to like anything, anywhere. Who locked up? I suck at this. <laughs> That'll do it. Why did they swap positions? Yeah. 
I am glad we managed to hear that line. <laughs> Just Kang Chun being like, damn, I suck at this. You know, I can, got all I need from Mirase. Should probably report back to Shintani. No, I don't want records. He has provided support with his impress impressive musculature. It's tough being this ripped. <laughs> when can I play pinball? I want to show that it's broken if you play the PS4 version on the PS5. I want to show that it is broken. Kaito is my emotional support himbo. That's the service he provides. Yeah, I'll do this boat over too, because you're also a point thing, aren't you? Dwayne Cruz? Hmm? Hi! Yep, a point every 700, so we need to spend 70. man and we now have a 10 point total heck yeah give me my record we are now friends Damage? No, I didn't. Fuck. Or at least I got healed, so I can't eat because I don't have bottomless stomach. I just tried to bring out the skateboard like this was lost judgment. While I believe judgment has the better story, God, do I miss the gameplay of lost judgment. It has so many like quality of life improvements. You find anything? Sure did. Marase spilled the beans over at the Kyore hideout, a place called KJ Art. And you made it out of there in one piece? Incredible. All in a day's work, Shintani Sensei. So, according to Marase, the moor was empty at midnight on the 3rd. That directly contradicts the prosecution's assertion that Hamura was beating Kume to death at the time. Well, that's a hell of a find. But is Marase gonna testify? Nope. That's not that easy. Uh, it never is. Either way, Marase is telling the truth. I found something that backs his story up. Hmm? This is a moor. Three hours after Hamura took Kume. Midnight. Take a good look at the edge of the screen. We don't see any of them go inside, so I thought nothing of it. But the stories match up. Marase and his guys went to a moor to take Kume back. And they left empty-handed. So they saw the camera, then headed to the back door. <sighs> Sounds like we need to talk to Captain Hamura. There are too many unanswered questions. Agreed. I'll set up another visit. Give me a call once you do. And don't put your face directly into the screen, please. I beg of thee. Yagami-san, you spoke to Mafio, yes? Huh? Yeah, why do you ask? She seemed happy. It had been a while since she last saw you. Oh, cool. <laughs> but she looks sad, too. Sad? Wonder why. As do I. See you later. All right, cool. Bye. Whoa. 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 Oh God, people are glitching. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> All right, wait for Shintani to call, huh? Uh. 
do another popo run. Yeah, maybe mind your own damn business. If you want to talk about Mafia, you can go go to her, her yourself. People ship that. I genuinely think there are peop more people that ship Sauri and Mafuyu together than there are that ship Mafuyu and Yagami, which is like, you know what? Good. There's nothing there anymore. Hmm? Hi. Okay, what can I buy you here? Uh... Ship Mafia you with career success? You know what? That's also a good one. That. Uh, is there another store I can be friend? A bunch of stuff down at the bottom. Tony, can you please call me? I don't know what to do. I don't have most mini games unlocked to me yet. Sarah, you ship with everyone because you like because you love her and so you think your husbands will too. Heck yeah. Sarah deserves it. She's so good. What do I even have? We'll buy this stuff. She a good girl. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's the cheapest thing you got? Cool, thanks. What's your friendship event? Nothing. Hey, huh? Okay, no, there we go. I just had to talk to him again. Oh, you actually remembered me? But of course, I remember the, all the names and faces of my valued customers. Call it a policy of mine. Hey, that's classy. I like it. Thank you. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. My name's Naotaro Terahara. This is Yagami. <laughs> nice voice line. <laughs> Appreciate that. I'm Yagami, by the way. Ano. Let me ask you, Yagami-sama. Would you be interested in a custom-tailored suit? Hmm? Uh, well, it would be nice, hmm. but I don't really dress formal anymore. <laughs> Is that so? I personally think that you'd look quite handsome in the properly fitted suit. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're not just buttering me up? Oh, no, sir. My compliments are 100% butter free. I pride myself in making every suit unique to match the customer's needs. So if you ever feel the need to spoof up your overall appearance, I'd be more than happy to assist you. Well then, whenever I need a suit, I'll come looking for you. Excellent. Then I'll be awaiting your visit. I forget how I do half of these friendships. She's in your top three RGG woman. Heck yeah! I mean, to be fair, there's not a lot of women in these games, so the competition isn't that fierce, but yes. Hmm? 
Not one. Yeah, I think LaMarche is the only store one that is left. Out of the way! Fuck you! There's enough to at least do a top 10, so top 3 is really decent. <laughs> think of all the side characters to you? That's fair. There we go. Thank you, Shintani! Okay. Hammer is ready. How are you? Take as bad as Kaito. Police station. Will do. Thanks. How are you as bad as Kaito? The real woman on that ad scared me. When the fuck am I getting out of here, Tuck? I'm doing my best, Don't asshole. Me. Shintani sensei's your lawyer, remember? Hamura-san, I've got something to show you. December 3rd, 11.55 p.m. A Kyori man by the name of Murase comes to Amor to rescue Kume. Not wanting to be seen by the cameras, he goes in through the back. And? Marase said there wasn't a soul in sight. Well, yeah, I'd already hopped over to the sauna. And what did you do with Kume? I already told you I threw him out the back. And before that? Huh? Around 10 o'clock, you kicked everyone else out so you could be alone with Kume. I have testimony to back that up. Why'd you do it, though? What can I say? I guess Kume reminded me of an old friend. I must have been feeling nostalgic. Who knows, though? I was pretty plastered. He's not getting evasive. He even pulled the I was too drunk to remember card. Love how casual and crudely Hamura speaks makes it more real to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're also doing their best to try to replicate, like, Yakuza speak in English because we don't have, like, the... I mean, English does have, like, you know, like more like rude and casual words and more like polite words, but not to the same level as how like the Japanese language literally rewrites itself depending on what level of like politeness slash like casualness you're speaking at. That's so. Did you need to kick everyone out just for that? Uh, I told you I was drunk. Who knows what I was thinking? Well, you seem to remember other parts clearly though, like when you left the club. What are you getting at? For a so-called innocent man with an alibi, your story has an awful lot of holes. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't hide something from us, would you? Of course not. Something like the true killer's identity? I said I'm not hiding shit! Now get the hell out there and prove my alibi! I was at the sauna all night long. Prove that and I'm in the clear! I need to have a backup plan in case your alibi doesn't pan out. But I can't help you if you're gonna hide things from your lawyer. You're suspected of abducting a rival clan member, gouging his eyes out and dumping him in an alleyway. They'll lock you up and toss the key if we can't win this. Has that thought even crossed your mind? Or are all Yakuza just that fearless in the face of a life sentence? Fear has nothing to do with it, but like hell am I gonna beg you to save me. Then who would you beg? <laughs> None of your business. Buddy, you're not helping your time, case. Hamura. I'll figure out what you're hiding. Hey, Yagami.
Shintani having an attitude with Yagami while at the same time letting him do all the work and talk in this is so funny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's probably like a way of like, haha, I can order him around Yo, this asshole. Sounds like you've been busy. Had a little chat with Hamra. Wasn't real productive. Figures. He's keeping something from us. There might be more to this. Well, yeah, case it's like, hey, Shintani, maybe do some so work what? yourself. You're telling me we hit a dead end? More or less. I need more to work with. Specifically, like what Hamura and Kume did after leaving Amor. Eyewitness testimony. We don't have time to scour the city for leads, though. Hey, how much money you got? How much you need? You'll need 30k or so. I've got this friend, a local detective on the force. He'll tell you anything for the right price. Anything? <laughs> anything. Guy's an informant. You want the dirt only cops have access to. He's the guy you hit up. So you're saying he's a dirty cop? That's Yakuza for you. I'm gonna please if it sounds useful. Name's Ayabe. He's a regular over at Tender. Really? Yeah. Surprised you've never run into him there. It's where everyone goes to meet him. Try asking your pal Masuda. All right. Why did the camera zoom in on me like that? For your husband, he's an asshole, but you can't bite him behind bars! <laughs> God, it's so funny to me how horny this entire series makes people. <laughs> And not for the things that this game tries to make people horny for. Hey, you have a sec? Of course. What do you need? I'm looking for a detective. Ayabe. You know him? Sure do. He hasn't been by in a few days, though. Why? Uh, damn. Guess I came at the wrong time. He'll come back later. I hope this guy's worth the trouble. It's okay. I'll let him know you were looking for him. Why don't you have a drink or two in the meantime? First one's on me. What's all this? Thanks, coffee, Dad. <laughs> Just buttering you up. Remember when I mentioned someone who had a job for you? Yeah, what of it? Well, turns out they won't have one for you after all. Sorry. Apparently, the client was trying to get back at some Yakuza who sucker punched him. And he wanted me to do what? Not sure. Doesn't matter now, anyway. Why, did he go all vigilante on him? Not exactly. It sounds like the Yakuza ended up behind bars. For killing a man and gouging his eyes out. Huh? Wait a second. Da, da, da. Captain Hamura. Surprised? Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. Anything else you can tell me? Sorry, but that's all I've got. You'll have to ask the guy directly. The Yakuza who punched the host by the sauna was Hamura. Then that might help establish his alibi that he went to sauna Goten afterwards. I should ask the host. Who is he? Man by the name of Seiya. He's a host over at Club Stardust on Tenkaichi Street. Stardust? That's where I'd look. You're so down bad. Him and the bastard and leopard print in the next game, you are unwell. <laughs> Everyone's got their tastes. They write the characters too well sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like when RGG gets a character good, they're, the character's phenomenal. If, a char if RGG gets the character bad? The character is awful. And there's like <laughs> very little in between. Hello, can I talk to Yuya? He has hey, nothing to do with anything. I just want to talk to him. Depends. What do you need? I'm looking for someone who works here. Think I could talk to Seiya for a sec? Seiya-san, huh? No can do. Not today. Is he off today? Not quite. He's out on a date with a customer. Damn. He could be practically anywhere then. Third day in a row, too. 
He's got it wrapped around his finger. Yeah, that's great. Any idea when he'll be back? No clue. I doubt he went far, but that's all I've got. All right, cool. Thanks anyway. Where's the owner of a moor, not this guy? Why can't people just stay at their clubs? Wait, maybe I can find him the same way as before. It's worth a shot. Yo, Tsukumo. Oh, hey, Yagamishi. What's up? I, uh, I need something. Think you can do another message search for me? Sure, just hit me with the keywords you need. Hmm. Let's go with Stardust and Seiya. Oh, and let's limit the search history to just today. You got it. Give me just a second here. It's working, it's working. <laughs> I'll just push this to your screen. Huh, it might have worked too well. Any other keywords you want to narrow this down by? Hmm. Regulus and you tell woke Stardust and Seiya. What the fuck does that even mean? Go out to eat with Seiya Kun from Stardust pretty soon. Which, where should we eat? Oh my god, I'm so into Seiya right now. Been going to Stardust every day, lol. Gonna play with Seiya over at Stardust today. I think I can get him to play with me. Good god. Eight. Oh, that did the trick. Great. Should be easy to check these out myself. Thanks, Tsukumo. I'm sure you'll find your pretty boy in no time. Hey, don't ask questions, Tsukumo, please. I forget which one we have to go to if we have to go to all three. <laughs> I don't know where our favorite jawline is. This game won't let me see him. I want to see you, yeah. Seiya-kun gets here soon. Wait a sec. You mean Seiya, that host from Stardust? Hmm. Who are you? Are you from the club? Morgana? No, sorry. I'm just looking for Seiya. I'd ask where he is, but it looks like you know as much as I do. Hey. Are you implying my Seiya-kun stood me up? I'm sure he's just taking his time getting ready. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Uh-huh. How long have you been waiting, anyway? I... I... <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Excuse me. Doesn't look like she is here. Should try somewhere else. Good job, Yagami. You made her cry. So good with the ladies, dude. Hello, you. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. I'm Works sorry I'm standing so close. Wait, you know Seiya-kun? Is he alright? We were gonna go on a date tonight, but he never showed. I'm kinda worried. Huh? I'd heard he was on a date around here, too, but I guess that means it wasn't with you. Uh, better luck next time? Wait, what? Seikun's out with another girl? Sounds like it, but don't take it too hard. I'm sure you'll bounce back. Oh, thank goodness he's safe. I thought he'd gotten into an accident or something. I wonder if he's having fun on his date. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Like saying is here, I should try somewhere else. I can get away from this lady. In all honesty, I don't know what people expect from hosts aside from being players. Maybe not scheduling f at least four different dates on the same day. Because otherwise, people will get mad at you, and I would assume like your like rep would take a hit, and your rep is a lot when you're a host. Excuse me, ma'am. What? I'm looking for a host named Seiya. Works at Stardust. Huh? What do you want with Seiya? Uh, I need to ask him something. I heard he was on a date around here. Did you say date? Who's the bitch he's cheating on me with? 
Oh, uh, you know what? Never mind. It's fine. <laughs> I gotta go! Fine. What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. <laughs> Bye, ma'am. I need to leave. Get me the fuck out of here! Oh, Yagamishi. Did you manage to track down that host of yours? No, nope. struck out on Yeah, also, what do you mean cheating? He is a host. Uh, how about giving it another try? Nah, I'm good. I'll figure out some other way. Don't be such a sourpuss, Yagamishi. I bet there have been more posts since earlier. Doubt that's gonna change much. But sure, why not? Let's see what you got. <laughs> Let's start with the same keywords from before. See that? A new hit. <laughs> the landscape of social media changes every second. Apparently, they posted it only a minute ago. <laughs> that's not a hot lead. I don't know what is. All right, I'll I just met with Sayakun and Conrad, and girl, does he look <laughs> delicious. I can't wait to start this date. Yeah, it's like, I feel bad for the first girl. I feel bad for the second girl, but she's handling it somewhat healthier. She just needs a backbone. Uh, and the third girl is going to kill Saya. My daughter hasn't looked or spoken to me, you know, for six months. Why? His name name was Booty Call. My oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> How did you aggro me? I'm across the goddamn street. And stay down. Saya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my chan. I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Is that Ryuji? Don't worry. It'll all be fine. Yeah, no, that is Max Middleton. Mind stepping I outside? I think that's his name. Yagami-san? <laughs> Wait. You know who I am? I do. I think this is the first time I've heard him in a video game where he wasn't, like, straight up just using his normal voice or Ryuji the voice. The over a tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty. Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. Because he's also a Philbo. In bug snacks, where he is very clearly using the Ryuji voice, which again might just be his normal voice. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? Here he's trying to like play it down low and cool. Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you. That's right. When? Hamra <laughs> is also in bug snacks. <laughs> the day of the murder. You sure? Yeah. There's a lot of voices in Bug Snacks. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. That's so. Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? It's fine. Yes, I might be able to prove Hamra's alibi now. Wambus Trouble Hamra. <laughs> What time did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight, out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest place. Kyushu Number One Star. Isn't that near Sana Goten? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why did he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. I was just walking down the street when I noticed him coming towards me. Man, I want to stream like, the Persona games now. He was like, to himself or something. <laughs> They're so long, though. Scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. And how many times did he hit you? Just the once. He left a fucking nasty bruise, though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out, too. A filling, Oof. huh? Did you go to the dentist? Huh? 
Yeah, the next day. Then you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? He stumbled away into a sauna. That Goten place you mentioned. <laughs> Should have been. Just to recap, <laughs> he hit you around 12 and then headed into Damn, sauna. Damn, you really are down bad. Yes. The old guy at Sauna Goten said that no one left that place till morning. And as long as I can prove Hamura was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh, yeah. The cops mentioned something kind of similar. Can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies, too. <laughs> sure. I'll ask him. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. Glad you're helpful, buddy. So I went down in front of Kyushin and Ruin Star. That's the best lead I've got right now. Let's hope they have a camera. Part of me is like, hopefully they do. Another part of me is like, they did used to have a secret casino. Maybe they wouldn't have. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Maybe yeah, they wouldn't have me. a camera. You find Ayabe yet? Negative. But I did track down someone who had a run in with Hamura. Yeah? Is it good news? His alibi might be more airtight than we thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura, then saw him go to the sauna. It was apparently right by Kyushu number one star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it out now. Hold up. Isn't that near KJR? Those Kyore guys won't be happy to see you. If I was worried about getting seen, I'd never leave the office. <laughs> Fair enough. Later. <laughs> yeah, don't push your don't push your luck, fuckboy. Maybe don't schedule four dates for the same day. You legit had a two-month period last year where you couldn't look at him or Akutsu or you would puke. Good God. <laughs> This is where Sega got hit. Security camera would have caught something. Kitty cat, kitty cat. Is there a kitty cat? Is there a kitty cat? I would love to uh. know. I hear a cat. There's the camera, we're cat. Oh, get ten, where are you? I knew this cat so bad. There you are. Most important thing. Okay, now we can look at the camera. Suspicious. There is a camera. Topometer is on there. Why are there so many people in this alleyway? Get out of here. Back to the office. I really don't have time for this. 
You talk! Yeah, Kaito! Stay the fuck out of this! Where are you? Yeah, drop kick! That's my boy! Come on! That was pretty sweet, man. Hey, you wanna try helping out? Sure thing. My turn! My boy! You two fuckers are going down now! Get Keith! Be grateful he didn't go for you ass first. Ah. Oh, the bike! Holy shit, the bike went flying. Can I do charge attacks, please? Please? One thing that is really nice uh, in this game is that your AI companions will actually do damage in fights. It's great. Like, look at, look at Kaito go. He's actually like doing damage. He's actually aggressive. Yeah, they did nerf that in LJ, which is a shame. But in this game, AI companions help immensely. Please tell me you found something. You did, right? Think I did. Check out that camera. We're in the clear if the thing puts Hamra here at midnight. And if it doesn't? Let's... let's try and stay optimistic. Well, camera. You got good news for us or what? Well, it's currently recording. So it caught uh, our little scuffle. So we're in trouble. This video shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamura-san drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamura-san walk into Sana Goten. Nobody came out of the building after that, until the train started in the morning, meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi, which can only be seen as proof of Hamura-san's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning, you never actually went to examine the site personally then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, the defense's video is far too blurry to clearly identify either participant. If it's too blurry, then what the hell's There's your no video? Way to tell whether the man in the footage was the defendant or just a random pedestrian. <laughs> Thank you very much. In that case, the defense would like to call a witness to the stand. If our video's blurry, then what's your video?
Seasan, do you claim you're the person in this video? That someone assaulted you that night? Is that accurate? Yes. It is. Now tell us, this person who assaulted you, are they here in the courtroom? Witness? Is there a problem? I, um... Hmm? I must have... been mistaken. I am the one getting hit in the video. But as to who the other guy was... I can't say. Excuse me. Your Honor, a uh, recess, if you don't mind. What happened in there? I... I, I can't do it. I'm so sorry. And these defendant lobbies don't but look nearly as comfy as they You were all ready to go this morning. I... Got a phone call earlier. Go on. It said it was from my sister, but there was a strange man on the line. He said his name was Marase. Told me you know him, Yagami san. Marase? And he told you not to testify? Yes. He said if I did, if I did, I'd never see my sister again. Got it. What are you doing, Yagami? Calling the police? Kaito-san, it's me. Those KJ art guys took Seiya's sister. I'm heading over there now. Could use a hand. The hell are you doing? We're in the middle of a trial here. A trial doesn't mean shit if you can't protect your witness. Uh... <sighs> Buy me as much time as you can. I'll get Seiya's sister back. I'm the one who dragged you into this. I'll be the one to drag you out. Promise. By time, he says. He knows this is a court, right? I have sister Seiya's like Seiya's sister at KG Art. Need to hurry. Leave the sister alone. We need this witness. Why is it so loud every time? Yo, it's Kaito. I'm here. Where are you? I'm right around the corner. The place looks kind of deserted. Lines down and everything. Are we sure this is where they got her? They're from Kansai, remember? They can't have that many hideouts. Plus... Plus what? I bet there's a reason all the blinds are down. If anything, that makes it more suspicious. I guess you've got a point. Anyways, I'll be up on the roof again. See you soon. Why are you talking about your Supervisor Levin spinach? Dude, Shintani's a jackass. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know this, but Shintani's a jackass. <laughs> you think he's going to care that the witness is very, very clearly scared? Still can't get eyes on what's in there. Got any bright ideas? Well, we can't just barge in. Who knows how many of them are in there? No way I'm getting away with a disguise now, either. Then, I guess we gotta sneak in. That's the only way. I had a feeling. I've got a plan. Yeah? Lay it on me. First, I'll make a big scene out front. Then when they're distracted, you sneak in and get the girl. That's your big plan? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> uh, sure. You know what? It might work, so sure. You'll see soon enough. Just remember, both our asses are on the line here. I won't forget. 
So, the girl's in there, yeah? Let's go bring her home. Right. I'll go look for a way in. Let you know when I find one. Kaito sneaking? He's dummy thick. He's the dummy thick meme. Kaito, ex Matsugane. Bring him out, or I'll burn this shit down. Oh yeah, go on. I dare you. Just stay right there, punk. Gota, this is your chance. On it. Don't die, okay? You really stuck around? You should have bailed when you had the chance. You're pretty fucked now, dumbass! Who the fuck are you? I said I wanted Morase! You fucking scrubs ain't worth my time! Get Morase! I love Kaito so much. Gambate, Kaito! Fucking again. Nice. Almost there. Got it. Why they give this random gun a unique face? I don't know. Right, I forgot about the thumb turn bypass lock picks. I completely forgot. Using the thumb turn bypass is yet another way to open a locked door. Slip a thin wire through the uh, door's gap to turn the knob on the other side of the door to unlock it. If you don't have a thin wire, you won't be able to do this. Uh, use the uh, left and right sticks to follow the icon within the red frame as shown in the left figure. When you match the left and uh, right sticks to the icon, the icon will automatically start moving. Uh, then just match the movement. Cost for wire, I should have ten of them? Nice. That'll do it. Easy peasy. And the wire's still fine. <laughs> All the people try looking at Kaito. Who the hell are you? You're not getting out of here alive. I don't hate the Thundrum bypass. It's just like another mini game. That ultimately doesn't do a whole lot. Ow! Hey! There we go. You, where's the girl you took? I don't know nothing, honest. I'm new here. They don't tell me shit. Hi, uh, Moma. Well, then you're useless Slash to me. Slash Ichibod. No way to go but up. Not down there. God damn it. Can you make your HQ easier to break nice. into, please? Got it. Die! Oh fuck! I looked away at chat. Bitch. 
I did hit it, but I think I hit it like just slightly too late. She might be on this floor. Good God, come on. Almost there. Nice. Come on. Almost there. Perfect. Easy peasy. Oh, hi. You have a real knife, so you need to not do that. Also, I'm going to destroy this entire room. I don't know where the desk went. Well, I mean, if you just have a stamina on X here on the floor, I will gladly take it. Oh, hey, you're up. Oh, shit. Now, tell me what I want to know, or else. Where's the girl? Where's the girl? She's up in the reception room. Got it. Appreciate the honesty. And what's the code for the door? What's the code for the reception room? Like I tell you. Right in the dick. I don't have time for your games. Understand? Now I'm gonna ask you again. What's the code to the reception room? One, three, seven, zero. Thirteen seventy. Well, wasn't so hard. Thanks. Thirteen seventy. Thirteen seventy. Got it. Why is every door locked? How does anyone get around nice. this place? Almost there. Nice. Perfect. Thirteen seventy. You're Seiya's sister, right? Don't worry, you're safe now. Yagami, when the hell did you get here? Oblivion lockpicking, it sure is. Right <laughs> what do you mean? Let her go. The girl can leave whenever she wants. We don't have her tied up or nothing. I'm not sure what type of lock picking I prefer, that I kind it. or like the it's Skyrim slash Fallout. Captive, right? Just have to make her stay here until the trial's over. You really thought this one through. But that's not gonna work. Huh? Confinement is a crime whether or not your captive is tied up, idiots. Shut your trap! You know, false imprisonment will get you between three months and seven years. Maybe even longer if you hurt the victim. Guess you'll have to take a little dip in an acid bath then. No body, no crime. <laughs> Intimidation too? Tack on another year. <laughs> Come on, let's make sure this asshole- I love Yagami. I'm gonna miss him if they have to remove him because of fucking- <laughs> Uh, Kimura's agency shenanigans. <laughs> you fucking mind? <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
I mean, also going back to the lock picking. The lock picking in this game is even easier than the one in Oblivion. <laughs> Come on. Not so fast, Yagami. Marasa-san, hasn't this gone on long enough? You're only gonna make things worse for yourself. Hamura has an alibi. Someone else clearly killed Kume. There's no reason for you to keep Seiya from testifying. But if Hamura didn't murder Kume, who did? I'm not sure, but Hamura might have an idea. He must have been working with the real murderer. What? That's right, there's several facts point towards Hamura's involvement. The night of the crime, Kume went into Amor and just disappeared, right? He didn't contact you. Nobody saw him. He didn't even show up on any security footage. The way I see it, Kume never left Amor. In other words, Hamura must have handed him over to the real murderer. I love this generic While NPC that the they're using for the culprit. An for himself, someone else was murdering Kume and gouging his eyes out. It almost makes sense. If Hamura ends up behind bars, I'll never be able to prove that theory. So what? You want to let Hamura walk? Better that than threaten a girl to stop someone from testifying. Besides, I thought you were above shit like this. <laughs> All right, just get out of here. You got guts for a detective. Huh. Thanks. Rest is up to Shintani. Do you think it's interesting how Kimura has recently been sharing a uh, judgment gameplay on his channel recently? Yeah, 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 I heard about that. Hamura-san is the one punching me in this video. The same man standing here today. I remember now. There's no doubt in my mind. So, you retract your earlier statement? Yes. My apologies. Your Honor. Clearly, this witness has no credibility. How does the defense respond? I admit, the witness was shaken up before. But I believe that's a perfectly understandable response. This is his first time in court, after all. I have no doubts regarding his credibility. This Stardust establishment. It's a... Post club, yes? How long have you been employed there? About two years. For that short a time frame, you seem to have an awful lot of trouble with your customers. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Several of them have approached you in hopes of marriage, have they not? They come spending huge sums of cash, so you act like you're ready to seal the deal. You say whatever it takes to make them happy in the moment. But your story changes once things start Objection, this is attacking the witness. Five women have filed Objection. with the Consumer Affairs Bureau. And those are just the ones who have stepped forward. Can we really trust the words of such a manipulative man? With these character traits in mind, I sincerely doubt the credibility of the witness's testimony. Objection! Thank you. And if the witness is indeed lying, the defendant's alibi is invalid. That is all. How does the defense respond? I'd like to continue on the topic of credibility. Mind if I ask you a few questions, prosecutor? Go ahead. First, allow me to fast forward the security footage to just a few days after the crime. Oddly enough, we'll be looking at the exact day the prosecution filed their suit. Hmm. Isn't that you, prosecutor? Well, uh, yes. And in this footage, you're reenacting the altercation that took place between the defendant and our witness, yes? What? No. Well, that's strange. You stated earlier that you hadn't seen any footage from the camera near the sauna. But then... How would you be able to reenact things exactly as they went down? 
You also claimed you did not inspect the area yourself. It seems that wasn't the truth. Why are you hiding the truth from us, prosecutor? <laughs> You're wrong! Then what did I... what did we just TV, watch? The original footage isn't exactly clear. I would understand if you had denied that the defendant was the man who punched our witness. But instead, you claimed you hadn't seen the footage at all. If I had a guess, when you first saw the footage, you realized Hamra might have been the other man. At the very least, you couldn't rule out the possibility. So you lied, I would say. <laughs> that, that's not true. Can we be sure that what you say is credible? You've already lied outright in a court of law. And unfortunately for you, there's only one person who thinks the defendant is guilty. And that's you, prosecutor. Give us your breakdown, Izumita. Come on, make this ace attorney. The night Kume got murdered. Show us your breakdown! I was holed up in Sauna Go 10 till morning. The footage from the security camera, Hamra's alibi, Seiya's testimony, it all lined up. With a story that airtight, there's no chance he could have killed Kume. We find the defendant, Kyohei Hamura, innocent. I'm so used to Ace Attorney, I was expecting not guilty. <laughs> Defendant, please be seated. The judge was right. I want, like, the big Hummer letters to show up, the not Kume. guilty. But he had to have been involved. Meanwhile, the real killer is still out there, hiding in the shadows of Kamurocho, murdering Yakuza, gouging their eyes out, Retreating into his den. So, I've given him a name. The Mole. We have our serial killer. Yeah, the not job guilty. Done once he proves the defense. And then innocent. the confetti that Gumshoe makes, according to that one For comic. Me, I'm not a lawyer. There's literally an official anymore. comic that it shows that Gumshoe is the one that made the, uh, the confetti that throws when falls when you uh, get a not guilty. My office might be small, but that doesn't mean I don't have a reputation to uphold. In other words, I'll do whatever it takes to bring Hamura and the Mole down. Yeah. I love Gumshoe, I miss him. Shoe talk yeah, to me, when are you gonna return my man to me? Nice seeing you. We haven't seen him since Gorgeous that one thing. flashback in Apollo How Justice, please. Business been treating you lately. Yeah, I knew you'd show up here, Hattori. Listen, I'm not in the mood for your shit Or was shit it Investigations today. too? Which one came out later? Uh, I don't remember. But it's my journalistic duty to hear what you have to say. It's not personal, just trying to do my job, okay? All right, this asshole. Freelance journalist Ko Hattori. Well, I've already seen what your so-called job produces. Fraudulent lawyer lets a murderer walk. Helpless girl suffers the consequences. <laughs> you and I both know. You're the only reason the girl died. You just had to go and set that killer free, didn't you? And the good people who raised her still suffer for it. You can't be coming back now. What would her poor family have to say to that, huh, Yagami-san? Can you leave me alone? No need to worry about that. If you say so. <laughs> See you around, then. Fuck you. You also have a punchable face. Gumshoe's so hardworking for Edgeworth. He really is. I love Gumshoe so much. I miss him.
The year is 2018. I forgot there's the previously Kamurocho here. Is playing host to Kansai based Yakuza, who've been turning up dead with their eyes gouged out. Lawyer turned detective Takayuki Yagami took on the case, proving the suspect's alibi. But he can't shake the feeling that the true culprit is out there. So I know they showed that little bit he of gives the us police finding a name. Kume's Yagami body. Calls him the first time you actually see that at the very start when you're like 10, 20 minutes in, that is when I made my guess as to who like the serial killer was. Just like a complete shot in the dark. <laughs> Three bodies have turned up in Kamrocho, each of them missing both eyes. Everyone a Kyori man. Kumi is the most recent. And the guy who killed them all was your mole, huh? Yep. Got Kumi hand delivered to him by Hamura. In other words, Hamura was cooperating with the mole. He might have even been involved in all three cases. But Hamura kept that hidden, and ended up getting off scot-free. In turn, making us look like fools. I'm not about to let him get away with this. Agreed. We gotta go all out if we wanna win. Too bad the pay sucks. Don't hate, man. I don't get it. Why would the captain want to protect the mole anyways? He could have gotten life in the slammer if things went south. Hard to say with what we know now. First things first, we need to figure out who the mole is. That's why we're here, remember? The mole's first victim was found right in this very alley. Mm-hmm. Happened back in August. Kenkichi Mashiba, a Kyore guy, 27. Pretty small time. Even lower rank than Kume. Body got reported in the morning. Eyes gouged clean out of his skull. Of course, was found pretty much the exact same way as Kume. Where exactly did they find him? What sort of position was he in? Not sure. Cops don't really publish those kinds of details. Well, guess we'll have to do one better then. Hold up a sec. The cops already did their whole song and dance searching for the mole. But they couldn't turn up a damn thing. Why do you think we can do any better? What kind of personality do we want to give Yagami? Doesn't matter whether or not we can do better. We have to. Hamra made us look like fools, and I'm not about to stand for that. Right. Anyways, the next victim was in, uh, October. Found in an alley off Tenkaichi Street. Shall we head over? I'm actually gonna head over alone if you don't mind. Think you can get in touch with that informant in the meantime? Huh? Why I obey? We're going to use Kaido's connections to the dirty cop. Now's the time. Didn't you say something about him selling police info? If he's got info on the mole, we need it. Yep, I can ask. Thanks. Head to the hi Kaito, bye Kaito. Please move your dummy thing. Hamura is free, now you can bite him. <laughs> okay, we are healed in between chapters. Good to know. But yeah, I do believe uh that is the longest chapter one in any game. That took like like basically like four hours. <laughs> Shut your damn full mouth and let me have my suit the way I want it! But, sir, if you don't let me hem your pant legs, your suit will look quite baggy. Ah. Quit your belly, I can tell it! Tailor man, I'd like my suits the way I like my ladies. Loose, cheap, and not too clingy. What the fuck? For new players, it takes like six to seven on average, yeah? <laughs> I don't know why it's so long. I mean, I kind of do because they want to have like the whole like intro case that like kicks off the rest of the like game to be like its own chapter. 
but good god is it a long chapter and you're not allowed to do like most side things like you eventually unlock friends but that's it you don't really have access to most of your mini games yet but you never would have figured as much yapping on and on the way you do yeah tokyo stinkheads do oh it's worth my goddamn time <laughs> sir that's not what i'm trying to <sighs> hmm? I didn't want to pick on the neighborhood. They're friendly neighborhood tailor. Can't just let this one slide. Excuse me. Tadahara san, is everything all right? Oh, Yakami sama. Well, as you can see, this customer suit is quite ill fitting. Ah! Who's this boy band looking knockoff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is most likely a jab at the fact that Yagami is modeled after. After, uh, Kimutaku, his, uh, Japanese VA, who was in a boy band, uh, one of the, like, biggest Japanese boy bands, I think? Yeah, SMAP. This has gotta be a riff on that. This has gotta be. <laughs> All I mean to do is make a normal-ass purchase and you got gather up a goddamn circus? You're the one making a big scene. Hey, it ain't my fault this high and mighty jabber job won't stop hemming and hawing about my knockoff, about honking off my hems. Jeez. Like I said before, sir, if the hem of your pants were adjusted ever so slightly. <laughs> still running your damn mouth about it, huh? Why don't I shoot your mouth shut? Better yet, I should do it for you. Would you mind not yelling like that? You're upsetting the other customers. Yeah, SMAP was everywhere back in the day. Just who do you think you're talking to, Mr. Big Shot Tokyo Boy? You can't order me, order me around. That's not my intention. I'm just asking you to show some basic manners. Jeez, what's wrong with that guy? I can't believe he's screaming his head off in public. Anjuri. See what you did? You upset the other customers, especially that with that giant mop of fumes on your head. <sighs> See your lack of decency that's getting them all fired up. Why don't you show some respect? Completely ignoring the pube comment. Okay. Uh, you want respect? I'll teach you respect. Come on, we're taking this outside. Uh, Fine. Let's just get this over with. Um, will you be all right, Yagami Sama? Nothing to worry about. I just need to step out real quick. Ah. If you say you're gonna do it quick, then do it quick! I'm practically falling asleep here! <sighs> okay, okay. Some people try to downplay it downplay because they don't know SMAP, but uh, shut up when I mention uh, that Kimura has done photo shoots with Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, no, they were huge. Like, I remember back in like middle school or so, like watching a bunch of, you know, like wacky Japanese commercial comp like compilations on YouTube. And I think m the members of SMAP were often in those wacky Japanese commercials. Making a damn fool out of me back there, the nerve of you. I'm about to put my foot up in your ass. Vulgar and violent. You really are a pain to deal with. <laughs> you want to listen in pain, huh? Then get ready to get schooled, pretty boy. You don't give up, do you? And we win. <laughs> Definitely in the wrong circles. You'd never heard of them until you played this. I didn't... It's like I had seen them in those wacky commercials, but I didn't know they were like SMAP until much later. One the hundred hells just happened. Well, have you finally learned your manners? Ah. Hey, you don't need to rake me over the coals now. I was just skipping on this rag store anyway. A moment, sir. For the last time, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm leaving. Sir, I implore you to wait. This is all to a lack of communication on my part. Please, allow me to explain. Eh? Huh? What are you rambling about this time? I failed to mention this before, sir, but I noticed your, su your shoes were quite worn down at the soles. Compared to how nice they look up top, I assume that your profession requires a lot of walking. Huh? Well, 
Yeah, you can say that. As such, I thought that adjusting the hem would make it far easier for you to walk around, and it reduces the wear and tear. Mm. Now that you mention it, the pant legs do end up dragging off a lot. No wonder my suit, suit looks shot to shit. Yeah. And that is precisely why I would be honored to make you another one that fits you to a T. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Guess I'll be leaving this in your capable hands. Thank you very much. Come on, Captain. Sorry I made such a big fuss back there. Make me a badass suit, yeah? With pleasure, sir. What an incredible turnaround. It's all thanks to you, Yagami-sama. Nah, it was all you. Customer service is no joke, huh? It's always something that I take... Us. It's something I take... I... <clears throat> it's something I always take seriously. Now... At least let me do you a small favor. Perhaps I can make you that suit? Huh? That'd be great, but how expensive would it be? Come now, you don't think I'd offer this on the house? After all you've done to help me? Seriously? Hey, then I say go for it. Hmm. Oh, but uh, I don't remember my size. Not a problem. I've been in the business so long, I can figure out a person's measurements with just one glance. That sounds gross, sir. It's quite a talent you got there. All in a day's work. It won't be long before your suit is done, so please come by and pick it up when you have the time. Got it. Thanks so much. My pleasure, sir. They're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. Can't believe I'm getting a custom-made suit for free. Thanks, tadahata son. I'll be back soon. Pretty much the same here. Not a fan of their sound, but their pull was insane. Kimura solo concerts are amazing, though. You can actually stream one of them on Discord eventually if there's interest. Ooh, neat. Yeah, I... Ironically enough, I don't think I've actually heard any of their songs. <laughs> I just know they're a band. I should probably change that and at least look up whatever the hell their most popular is. <laughs> Don Quixote, don't DMCA me, please, because I know some games do that, and I don't know why. Only some, but not others. I think it's more the PS3 games where that happens. Tenkaichi Alley. This is where the mole's second victim was found. If I recall, the body was found in the garbage dump, so around here? Hmm. <laughs> What the? This is where they take out the garbage, right? The carp must have been laying around here. I also I hear a cat. This case happened months ago, though. Don't suppose there are any traces of the body left. Should take a closer look. Kitten! out to Taihei Boulevard. If they know their way around through all these back alleys, Mole must be pretty familiar with Kamarocho. Hey. Oh. It, God. Whoa, this is an exquisite screw. Uh, totally unrelated to the case. Guess there are no more signs of the murder. Doesn't seem like there's anything left to find. Hi, kitten. I love you. I love how they like made the cat models for Ishin, I guess. What the? Must have walked here on his own, or did the mole bring him here after killing him? There's enough evidence here to say either way. And then they like, you know, like updated it for Yakuza 6. And then they've used cats basically every goddamn game since, and it is great. Stop right there! Oh, 
they tried. All these poor policemen tried. Kaito! Hey, what's up? What? Get back here! Hold it! Stop! Wait, wrong guy! These cops are fucking bad at their job! Do I look like the masked person you were just chasing with the hoodie and the jean jacket? You won't get away. Mitch, do I look like... Hold up. Come on. Come on, you're right here. Just give it to me. Come on, you can tackle them from this distance. Over here. the shimmy come on just just grab him just reach out and grab him Yagami! you won't get away The broken bone. You're not getting any thanks for that. Here, you earned this back. I own it. Look, it wasn't a perfect plan, but it worked out in the end, didn't it? So thanks. Is that what you call that? And I don't want your thanks, asshole. <laughs> okay. See ya. And that's the Camarocho burglary ring. No wonder the cops can't catch him. They were very boy band poppy. Kimono has a big range of sound though. You can ask Boop server if anyone has interest and then figure out a time. Ooh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I have an aversion to clapping, but you can rewatch his concerts on end. Heck yeah. Hey, we got cut off. You all good? Got in touch with Ayabe. He's scrapping up what he can on the mole thing. Just sit tight until we hear back, right? Ugh, I'm exhausted. Maybe I should go check in on Kenda Sensei. Been a while since I heard from him. And we are uh, right back where we started. Nah. Excuse me, I don't mean to scare you, but I need help bad. What's the matter? Are you hurt? 
my stomach. It's killing me all of a sudden. Should I call an ambulance? No, no, don't do that. I don't have that kind of money. Please, just go get Motoboshi Sensei. He's some kind of doctor? Yeah, he should be underground in the sewers. You can get there through a manhole in the children's park. All right, stay put for a while. You'll understand if you tell him Kondo is asking for him. Please hurry. How would a doctor be hanging around the sewers? I guess it's not really what matters here. <laughs> These just suddenly came falling down. Thank God no one got hurt. Yeah, good thing. Don't ask who knocked them over. Thank you. Goodbye. Inside? Yes. At least now that I have noticed uh, that they show up on the map, that helps a lot. Yagi, what are you doing? Just put your phone away, please. Am I allowed in here? I guess you come in here for a sub story at some point. Two children's park. Don't look in me, come on. Come on, leave me alone. Watch how easily. Look at how easy. Yagami, that is a sewer manhole cover. What kind of strength? Remember in like four or five, I forgot which game it was, where you needed a goddamn tool to open up the sewer manhole? What the hell happened? Excuse me. Hey, are you Motoboshi Sensei? Yeah, even Saijima needed to take, like, an extra, like, moment to, like, lift it up. Mm -hmm. I am? Who might you be? This is Yagami. I'm Yagami. Doesn't ring a bell. What do you want? Hmm. What was I supposed to tell this guy again? Your homeboy's calling for you. Moroboshi's calling for you. The condor has left the nest. Kondo is calling for you. There's this homeless guy. He goes by Kondo. You know him? He was asking for your help just now. <laughs> what Kondo-san was? Yeah, said his stomach was killing him. Where is he? Up in Park 3. <laughs> hey! Yakubi's magic powers help him. Yeah, something is wrong. Yakubi should not be able to lift that so easily. Oh, I made it. Thanks a million, Doc. You too, my guy. What? Did you eat something strange again? Uh, let me think. Well, I did some dumpster diving at Pink Street yesterday, and I knew I tasted something fishy. <sighs> Crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Looks like Kondo-san's done it again. Yagami-san. Yagami-san, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry for your trouble. This guy's always eating trash and messing up his stomach. <laughs> Why? Excuse me. No worries, but I'm gonna ask, are you actually a doctor? Mm. Yeah, or at least I was, but that's all in the past. Motoboshi sensei used to be a doctor at this huge medical university. <laughs> but he's been down the dump since he lost his chance to become a professor. So we started helping us out instead. Ah? You talk too much, Kondo-san. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, my oh, bad. Oh. As for you, Yagami-san, Here's something for your trouble. I know it isn't much. My inventory's full! I can now be treated by Motoboshi and buy med kits from him. My 
Appreciate it either way. Well then, I'll be off now. Yagami-san. Thanks for helping me out, Yagami-san. See you around. Why is the... Why is the cutscene music still playing? Uh... Help? <laughs> uh, help? <laughs> why, why, why is it still playing? This isn't supposed to happen! <laughs> I've never encountered this glitch before. Okay, there we go. Thanks, lads. You helped me out. And stay down. Okay, there we go. Yagami's just having a good day, and now he isn't. It's gone. <laughs> and it's gone. What is that from? I don't remember. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Afternoon. Did I keep you waiting or something? No. We were just talking about you, actually. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Of course. Especially if you've got a job for me. <laughs> You're always so eager to work. A great fighter, too. You ever take lessons? I did back when I was a kid, yeah. The rest has been more of a learn-by-doing thing. I like to think of it as Kamurocho style. Because you trained yourself on the streets? Man, what a life. I bet you've got some crazy stories. Um, Yagami-san. What's up? Actually, I do have some work for you. Yeah? What kind? Here, take a look at what I've got. There we go, we finally got some stories. I just know it's from South South Park. Okay, I must have gotten it from someone who watches South Park because I don't actually watch that show. <laughs> my name is Noriko Taguchi. My husband started going out frequently recently and I want to know where he's going. It's hard to imagine that he's cheating on me, but could you investigate? Thank you. I'll send the details to your office. Put them up on your board or something. Sounds good. Thanks, Sari-san. Yagami, you still sniffing around that Kume case? Oh yeah, never told Genda Sensei that I'm looking for the mole. Yeah, that's not a problem, is it? Not a problem, per se, but the case is closed. I can't keep paying you to investigate. Fine by me. It's a personal matter now. Even so, you're convinced Hamura's covering for the killer, right? You know he'll be none too happy if he finds out you're still on the case. He brought this on himself, if you ask me. Speaking of, have you seen him since the trial? No, but he and Shintani keep in touch. They're practically drinking buddies these days. Oh, that's a good Great. match. Come on in, Hattori-san. Small, but it's home. Oh, I know all about this place. Right, Yagami-san? Oh, sorry. I forgot. Shintani had an interview today. Shintani and Hattori, two of my favorite people in the world. Just pretend Yagami isn't here, yeah? Wouldn't want your readers thinking he had a hand in getting Hamura's acquittal. No, oh, don't Yeah, no, it's not like I did all the footwork or anything. That courtroom was yours, and yours alone. I should go. Looks like I'm the third wheel here. Without a photo, Yagami-san? For as much as you did on the case? Let me just get one of you in Shintani-sensei, huh? Tea, sir? What a treat. That would be great, Shirosaki-sensei. Save me, sorry. Stay away from my mansion, Tani! <laughs> What's he doing here? 
I need to meet with that client. Legal office. I love how they put an invisible wall to be like, no, don't. Yeah, yours and yours alone, and then Hattori immediately says how much Yagami did for the case. Hattori is just a little smug prick, and I hate him. There's so many punchable assholes in this game. And it's uh, amazing how few of them we actually get to punch. Don't look at me, please, and thank you. I just want to go hop. Oh, uh, hi? Excuse me. Oh, hello. Are you here about the job, ma'am? Hi. Yes, I'm Noriko Takuchi. Uh, you came highly recommended by Genda Sensei. Nagabi, sorry to have kept you waiting. Here, I'll get the door. So, yeah, I'm a private investigator. You wanted me to investigate if your husband is cheating on you or not, right? Yes, I'm afraid that's right. I can't shake the feeling that he might be, but I need someone to find out for sure. Well, what can you tell, or can you tell me the whole story? Yes, uh, you see, my husband and I own a cafe on Taipei Boulevard called Heaven, Heavy Coffee. We've managed it together ever since it opened, in fact. My husband's a good man, but he's always kept to himself. We've been married 40 years, and I can hardly remember any real fights, let alone infidelity. <laughs> Sounds like you do have a great marriage. I would usually agree, but lately he's been leaving the cafe early. I mean, there have always been slow days where he would leave to hit the pachinko parlors or go see a movie. But lately, this has become an almost everyday occurrence. But what leads you to believe that he's cheating on you? Perhaps he simply found a new hobby, for instance. That's fairly common at your age, isn't it? Yes, I thought that might be the case at first, too. But one day I stopped in the Japinko, at the pachinko parlor he said he'd be at, and I didn't see him anywhere. Hmm. And you're sure you were at the right place? The city has quite a few pachinko parlors. If it had only been the ones, I might not be so sure, but I assure you I've been thorough. I've checked in several times now, and I've never found him there once. I see. Sounds like you've done your homework then. Sorry for giving you the third degree there. Yagami-san, I'd like you to investigate where my husband goes when he leaves the shop. And if he is cheating, can you tell me who he's meeting? You really want the gory details? Yes. I want to know what kind of woman he would cheat on me with. I can do that, but I have to say, sometimes you're better off not knowing. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. I put 8,000 yen on my request. Is that sufficient? Of course. I'll take the case. Thank you. Like I said, he leaves the cafe early most every day now. He even told me that he's been wanting to see a new movie at, uh, that just came out. Alright, that should make it simple enough to tell him when, uh, when he leaves. Please do. The lady's shop is called Heavy Coffee and it's on Taihei Boulevard. Guess I'll check it out. We can probably do this and then call it. Granted, it is another tailing segment, I think. Tailing then photo op. Which is going to be rough. But it's fine. We got through chapter one, and that's important. Coffee. Hmm? Must be my client's husband. Let's see where he goes.
Noriko's husband. Where are you going, buddy? Don't look at me. I am inconspicuous. You know, if this is what passes for stealth in these in these games where there is proper stealth, maybe Majiba is actually better at stealth than we gave him credit for. I can see him in the corner of my screen. Then he takes a photo of the ad. I'm so glad that it is the player's camera that matters for the tailing and not Yagami's actual vision. Because you can get some like real dumb like hiding spots. Right there, game. Where are you going, buddy? Once you get to an end point like that, I don't think they can notice you unless you do something really stupid. Woman, I'm not looking positive. She's caked in makeup, though. She must be really trying to hide her age. Yeah, stupid, you say? <laughs> the red brick again, maybe? That works. They're moving. Red brick, huh? It's gotta be the red brick hotel. All right, I'm gonna need a photo as proof. Where's the best spot to catch the lantern in the hotel? Here or here? No, maybe here? I should follow them and get into a position that'll give me a clean shot. Like vaulting over a sign right next to them, you say? <laughs> Scoop! In photo missions, your goal is to investigate certain incidents and capture the decisive moment on camera. Take a picture that takes off all the checkboxes on the right side of the screen. Be careful, if you take a picture without satisfying all the conditions, it will result in a game over. Therefore, check your surroundings and look for the best possible camera angle that allows you to take a picture that satisfies all the criteria. Note, you won't be able to take a picture until you fulfill at least one condition. On top of checking off all the checkboxes, you connect. If you capture a photo that perfectly makes the client's demands, you'll gain some SP as a bonus. <laughs> Wish you'd recorded the judgment screen streams. Yeah, those were some good times.
There we go. Couldn't ask for a better photo than this, other than the fact that it doesn't look like the lady is animating properly. It looks like she's levitating. I figure out who, she, who he's seeing. Guess I'll wait till they come out of the hotel. Miss the dice cat copter. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Oh, that was fun. Finally. Not bad for your age, you two. <laughs> Looks like they're splitting up here. Time to follow the woman. Maybe, maybe she's just a, like a massage therapist who doesn't have her own studio and does it at love hotels. Maybe. see her turn around because that guy like got in the way don't mind this person very obviously crouching behind the car that is one thing gameplay wise that I prefer about OG judgment over lost judgment is that in lost judgment in the tailing segments uh the like wariness gauge does not lower like ever So like once you get spotted a bit that like you're kind of fucked but here it actually does go down it made the tailing segments so much easier ma'am what the fuck was that why did you go in a circle I was like, did I, have I actually lost her? And it's like, no, she's just over there. Love how they never fix that. I think that's just how tailing works in Lost Judgment, that they don't, like, lower their guard. I don't think that's a bug. I think that's a feature. That diagra diagram? Man, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, her spinning in a circle. Yeah, no. <laughs> It's just Dragon Engine shenanigans. I have learned to accept it. God, I wish the Beyblade glitch of Yakuza 6 was like... <laughs> like not just a PC issue. That glitch is so freaking funny. Dragon Engine's at its goddamn finest. that one.
Yeah, I remember when they announced that, uh, Ishin Kiwami was, uh, going to be on the Unreal Engine. Like, some people were scared that they were moving away from the Dragon Engine, and they were just like, no, 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 we're just using Unreal for Ishin because it has, like, better lighting than the Dragon Engine for, like, natural scenes. They're like, we're still keeping the Dragon Engine, don't you worry. And people were just like, thank God. <laughs> This is... We're back at heavy coffee. What the hell? Could it be... I guess it doesn't matter. Picture should be enough for the client. Like, look at the lighting and infinite wealth. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Whether or not they accomplished what they said they wanted in Ishin. Uh, maybe not. Speaking of hypothermia, fucking, uh, Okita in Ishin Kiwami looks like he has hypothermia. He looks so cold and pale. Which, I mean, he's not wearing a shirt, so, you know, maybe that's accurate, but... <laughs> Hello, uh, Noriko? Yakubi-san, have you found out anything? Yeah, I'd uh, like to go over my findings. Would you mind stopping by the office? Of course, I'll be right there. See you soon, then. Alright, I'll meet her back at the office. It was so washed out. It really was! Literally, all they had to do for Ishin was just... Translate it to English. You didn't have to do anything else. You literally didn't have to touch anything else. I mean, okay, replacing a bunch of the face claims with Yakuza 7 characters? Okay, that was good. I like that in most cases. Replacing that one person with Yuki is weird, but you know, like, the, okay, that's a nice touch. All they really had to do though was just localize it. They could have lessened the bathroom fog, but they made it worse. Yeah, I don't know what is wrong with the fucking bathhouse scene. Cause like, they clearly still kept the camera shake for the QTE in that, but there's so much fog that you can't see it anymore. And it's like, I think as much as I kind of hate saying this, Part of me kind of feels like Ishin Kiwami was maybe kind of lazily or at least hastily done. They re replaced your beloved Yahata with Mabuchi. You'll never forgive them. Okay, yeah. Counterpoint? Kondo as Adachi was so fucking good. Or Adachi is Kondo, rather. That is such a good pick for replacing the face claim. That is so good. <laughs> Keep that in, but then otherwise don't touch anything else and just translate it to English and then you would have had the, the best Ishin. <laughs> Based on this evidence, I think it's safe to say with almost full certainty that your husband is cheating. Sorry. I see. I'm sorry. What's there more, Yakumi-san? Yeah. Regarding the woman your husband was seeing, does she look familiar? Eh? Yeah. Th that's... Am I correct in assuming that she's the owner of Kashuzoku, a bar above heavy, heavy coffee? Yes, you're absolutely right. We've met a few times, actually. I, I had no idea he was seeing someone so close. I'm a fool to have not seen it earlier. Don't blame yourself. In a trusting relationship, you aren't really looking for those kinds of signs. Like I said, sometimes these kinds of details are best left undiscovered. But your husband is seeing your neighbor. That much is true. Now the truth is a weapon in your hand. Just be careful how you wield it, okay? Yagami-san. Thank you, Yagami-san. I'm actually relieved to know it. I think I'll file for divorce. I see. I'm glad, though. 
I'm glad to know, rather than spend the rest of my life as an ignorant clod. Thank you for being so thorough. Just doing my job. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to get in touch. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't... I don't need to feel what I'm feeling now ever again. That's when I ended up right where it started. Sometimes it really is the darkest under the lap... Sometimes it really is darkest under the lamppost. You can now accept a request from the Yagami Detective Agency and get into law office. Check the bulletin board in Yagami's office. Oh god, yeah, basically, hey, uh, sub-stories are a thing. Don't worry about it. I think the reason they used Unreal is because it's better for upscaling and porting, no matter what they say about the lighting, especially it. Uh, as Infinite Wealth shows how good uh, Dragon Engine lighting actually can be. Yeah, no, Infinite Wealth looks so good! The fun never stops! Okay, now that we finally have access to Pinball, I'm going to show you that uh, Pinball is broken if you play the PS4 version on a PS5. I don't know if you, if you play the PS4 version on a PS4 Pro if it's still broken, but four on a five, uh, it most definitely is fucking broken and is probably why they removed it from the remaster. <laughs> Biased, you paid no attention to anyone else. You loved him in the, uh, the Y5 days, but fun fact, Hamura has Yahata's moveset and Akutsu's uh, Japanese voice is his VA. Ooh, that's nice. It's broken on the PS4 as well? I don't think it is because I... Never had this glitch happen when I played on the PS4. Because this was the game I was playing when we upgraded to a PS5. And I could do pinball uh, on the PS4 just fine. Here, though, you see that bump for multiball? That is fucking broken. Get it in there! I do like the music though, although I think this is literally just like some like Unity slash Unreal game that you can get on Steam. Okay, like that one actually cooked, kicked me out. I love how now I can't hit the multi-ball when I was doing this, like, the first time. I, like, was constantly hitting it. Oh, there we go. There's the glitch. There's the glitch. The ball will no longer get out. If it didn't get bumped out with the thing, it will now never come out. And you are stuck. No amount of bumping will get it out. And that's the glitch and why you can't play this on the PS5. <laughs> because, uh, whenever your ball gets into one of those little divots, there is a, like, at least 50-50 shot on whether or not it's actually going to come out. He was able to get it out all of, like, twice because it actually pushed it out. Yeah, no, if the bumper thing actually kicks it out, you're good. But if it doesn't, you are screwed. A dud. And I never had that glitch happen when I was playing this on the base PS4. And along with like licensing issues, because again, as I said, I think this is literally like some like Unity game that you can get on Steam, just like port it in. Uh, that might be why it is removed from the remaster and why I believe the remaster has an arcade machine, right? Or is that Lost Judgment? I don't remember. I never played the remaster. I just saw like other people. But 
yeah, that is going to be it for part one of Judgment. I love this game. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to see Kaito again. Uh, the remaster has a console thing. Okay, okay. I'm glad to see my boy Keith again. The beef. Keith the beef. <laughs> Excited to see Kaito's bum again. And this is when it's nerfed. Or rather, it hasn't been buffed yet. Because th they did make his ass bigger in Lost Judgment, didn't they? Like, d didn't like someone like compare the models? They definitely made it bigger, right? <laughs> They did? Heck yeah, they did. <laughs> I love it when people do use model comparisons for that, like figuring out that Kiryu in the wetsuit has a bigger ass than Kiryu in any other outfit. Thank you for your service, whoever made those models. <laughs> Thank you for your service. I literally just did, I literally just like saluted them. <laughs> I love that they brought the wetsuit back for Gaiden as an outfit that you can just wear. It's good. <laughs> I never wore it, but it's very good that they brought it back. Uh, who to raid? Who to raid? Uh, Fru was doing some Dragon's Dogma. Why not? Hey, I'm slapping. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. Thank you for the follows. Those are always appreciated. I hope you have a good night. Good evening, whatever time it is for you. I hope you take care of yourselves and I'll see you all uh, on Wednesday for more of this. Gonna go to sleep, Onomichi. will haunt your dreams. <laughs> oh no. At least it's Onomichi and not Alohapi. Could you imagine? Bye-bye.